Oh, yeah. What a rush. Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Alpine Rhino Peer Review. Called this Beer Dweebs United because we had the whole gang basically back last night, and uh, I thought maybe we'd get them back tonight or not. I did send out the invite, so we'll see if anyone joins or not. But, uh, yeah. It was it was really nice to have them all back. We did we did start talking about some heavy hitting uh, items, just why the video ended up getting taken down uh, by me more than anything. Um, I don't I don't need some of the the things that would come with some of the topics we talked about. Uh, we did talk about our mental health. We did talk about the uh, uh, about. Uh, Racial stigmatization. Uh, we we talked about um, we talked about the racism of Aboriginals up here in Canada and the way Canada is hidden that type of stuff versus stuff in the states. Uh, so so we talked about some heavy hitting things last night, which I think might have been partially due to the fact that it's been so long since we have all chatted together. It was it was weird, right? Um, I should be at work right now. My back is still done. I pulled my back out lifting a skidoo because I'm an idiot, and uh, yeah. So I figured, hey, why not uh, come on here and have a little chat with some people? Uh, so that's that's where we're at. As most of you know, I do just run on the StreamYard uh, thing, so anyone can join that wants to, I can give you the link, you can come and chat with us. Uh, any comment you do send, we will get to. I just, there is a little bit of a lag between where I get to see here in StreamYard and what you see where you are. Um, yeah, I'm really tired. I've been tired for days now. Um, partially because it still looks like it's noon outside and it's after 8 p.m. I think that's part of the problem. Oh, I didn't put my I didn't put my lemon juice from yesterday in the fridge. So I've been adding this to my beers. Don't add this to Rickard's Red. No good in the Rickards Red. No good. Really good in the bud. Um, I did send my wife out to get me a 12-pack. Well, I went I went to the co-op today and bought a 12-pack of Alexander Keith's. 12-pack of Alexander Keith's Keith Tall Boys. Ooh, that's not something I expected to hear. One second, guys. Sorry guys, sorry about that. Problem with being the boss, right? Sometimes uh, sometimes you get a call from somebody that works for you. And that's what just happened. Um, and good day, Annie Corp. Uh, yeah, so I just got a call from 
one of my employees who is at the store tonight and just had to deal with that. But all good now. So what I was saying is I went in and I bought a 12. I went to this the co-op and I bought a 12 pack of teeth. 12 pack of teeth is tall boys at least, but it's $98. She goes, what's your uh, account number? And I tell her my account number, but she doesn't punch it in. She punches in my name. So now I have to pay the administration fee. So my $98 12 pack of teeth tall boys is now $108. And I'm like, motherfucker. And I take my receipt and I leave and you can't pick up your beer till after four. So I give the receipt to my wife and I'm like, when you're out doing, uh, doing this and that, can you pick up my 12 pack? She goes, okay. So she goes to the store to pick up my 12 pack. And she comes back with my receipt and goes, here's your receipt. I go, well, where's my 12 pack? And I go, she goes, oh, they, they don't have any teeth. So I go, but they're selling receipts for teeth. She goes, yeah. Okay. So now we got to go back to the co-op and wait for half an hour to get inside, just hand the receipt to the office and say, you don't have any of this. I need a different beer. Well, what beer do you want? Uh, you know what? Just give me Bud. Okay, here's your receipt for Bud. You know what they fucking gave me? This is what she came back with. Molson fucking dry. This is disgusting shit. That's what this is. This is disgusting shit. It's the worst beer available in this town. And I'm hoping the lemon juice makes it worthwhile. And good day, Brian. Good day. Well, you know what? Let's do it. Let's drink it with the lemon juice right now and see if it actually does anything. So this is you know, a little more, a little more ABV. It's five point five instead of five. So I mean, normally that would be a seventy-four dollar twelve pack instead of a sixty-four dollar twelve pack, like the Bud is. Um, oh. Here is hoping. Here is hoping. That's actually not bad. It's actually not bad at all. A couple milliliters of lemon juice. Everything is good. Um... Yeah, so I still don't know if the guys are going to show up like they said or not. If they don't, I'll just uh, watch a movie with the family. I just figured I'd come and chat because this talking to nobody but uh, but the kids thing is uh, it's getting a little tiring now. It is. I, I won't lie. I love my family. I love my family to death. It's a little old. I wish I could have walked dogs today, but my back was still too bad. The dogs are out for a walk right now. Um, Gizmo and, and Nanook are out being walked around the block. Did catch a kid throwing rocks at Nanook, though, like big rocks. And I'm like, okay, I'm done playing games. Throw a rock at the dog again. I'm going to call the cops, and a rock might come back your way. And I have a pretty good arm. Like, why does your dog want to? Fight us. Maybe because you're fucking hitting him with sticks and throwing rocks at him. Ever think of that? Ever think of that? Maybe the dogs in town that you're all so scared of wouldn't be such a scary dog if you didn't fucking beat them. Seriously now. Look at the sun on my head. Sounds like the dogs are home. So, anyone watching right now, what do you want to talk about? What should we chat about? What should we uh, discuss? It's going to be sunny until about Ooh, last night. Last night, the sun went down around one thirty, and it was back up by three, something like that. The internet is working so much better now that all the cloud cover is gone. You can see forever. I mean, it's uh, it's actually quite beautiful to just look up, see no pollution, no nothing. 
it's it's such a blue sky. It really is. It's it's kind of nice. Um, not looking forward to the waves of waves of mosquitoes and stuff that you'll see sometime soon. Hello. Hi. How is everything? Hi. Hi, Nanook. All the dogs came out. Should we have to carry dogs? Uh, Gizmo? Our Gizmo, yeah, sorry. Wrong dog. Which Gizmo. dogs came out? Oh, just dogs, like the puppies and that. And then that big white one, that's a sled dog there. Oh, yeah. And Nanook tried humping his face. Did that go well? He was also humping one of like the the reddish brown huskies. Now look, somebody's gonna put you in your place. You ain't a tough dog. So who are you talking to? Yeah, basically myself. Uh, nobody is showing up. I'm probably not gonna be on much longer. No. No. How's it going? Oh, how's it going with you? So that that that's another thing, right? About living up here is the waiting for deliveries of water, planning your planning your day out on whether or not you got water. Can you do laundry today? Can you take a shower today? Yeah, I'm about a quarter of a tank left. It's a big tank of water. Can you close the door so I don't hear that? Just, yeah. The puppy doesn't like if you don't give him all your attention. Okay. <sighs> but yeah, so um, getting used to no pipes, like no sewage and all that was, was interesting. Getting used to having to rely on somebody delivering your water was interesting. They're pretty good here, though. Yeah, we do have it better than a lot of a lot of communities do for delivery. Um, for the most part, we haven't since we've been here had a boil advisory, so our water's been safe to drink the whole time we've been up here, which is pretty nice. Uh, but we do drink out of basically a filtered water fountain anyway. Um, electricity is is um, generated. So it's a diesel gen diesel generator that does the electricity. Um, big old diesel generator. Goes out a lot. <laughs> does go out a lot, eh? Goes yeah, out more than you'd expect. And I mean, Hydro-Quebec takes care of up here, so you, you, I'm kind of surprised that it actually is generated when Hydro-Quebec is always the one up here. Mm. Um, what? Who's this? Mm, so it was. Uh, so I got on here and uh, I got a phone call while I was getting on here. So I had to sit here, uh, sit here, uh, muted for a bit because it was uh, Daniel calling for how to do some things at the store. Oh, set the alarm? Yeah. I'm sure he figured it out. I told him how to do it. Stop playing with my phone. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, are you messaging your other girlfriend or what? Yes, Kukus is my other girlfriend. <sighs> you buying weed? No, but I did ask him what the going rate was for Carrie. Hmm. Super fast tire. No, I don't think so. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. That's, uh,. Nobody even is here to talk to me. So hey, only Brian's here and all I said was hello. <laughs> is he still there? I'm going to guess he's not still there. I don't know. Oh, well, there's two people watching it, so. Well, somebody was here and then they logged out. Or are they still there? Oh, no, there they are. It's, oh, God, look who it is. Hi. Oh, no. <laughs> Hi. How are Hi. you? I'm doing the same thing I do to you. I'm your only friend. So you got no choice but to invite me. <laughs> and look, I'm even wearing my albino rhino sweatshirt. Nice. My proudest of all T-shirts. 
The wife loves it when I it is a... pass me Has anyone ever said anything to you about it? Um, I usually only wear it in places where people will appreciate it. <laughs> so that's like I, I also wear my Trump twenty twenty shirt in places where I know I'll, I'll get I'll, I'll get people riled up, but I won't get beaten up. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, remember how I was talking about how bad Molson Dry is? That's that's what I have tonight. Yeah. Uh, I have a, I have a thrust the New England style IPA. Oh, I'll thrust you. No, cuz you'll preg impregnate me. Impregnate you never. I wouldn't impregnate you. You you would. What do we got here? Dan's eating. You ever notice that it doesn't matter what time of day it is that you do a hangout, Dan's always having dinner time? I think dinner time is a Love you, Dan. Weirdly masturbating on women while they're unconscious. And who doesn't? Yeah. Arnold, you're being disruptive. Yeah, I had to deal with him. Oh, Carl, say hi to Chad. You guys are like. Albino twins. What are you doing? Uh, the one, one bad thing about being like the only albino in town is everybody finds out who you are, and then you get lots of questions asked of you on Facebook about stuff with the store. Stuff that you've been at answering for like the last ten years. You've been on YouTube. Like no, no, it's it, that was asking if we had any scooter back tires at the store. Like, oh. no, no, I don't believe we do. Oh, I thought you meant they were asking like albino related questions. No, no, but yeah, you, I, I get those too. I did have, uh, I did have one lady ask me when I was starting my second retirement, and I'm like, what second retirement? I'm not even close to my first retirement, woman. Oh, she thought you, she thought you're old. Yeah, she thought I was old. You know what? When you you let your hair go crazy bushy, I can kind of see that maybe a little. When you go for the whole Santa Claus look. People people like the Santa Claus look. They do. A girl my work wanted to bang you, except the fact that you don't drive and she doesn't drive, so the two of you can never get together. <laughs> What? What's the matter? What do you do I wouldn't I wouldn't have been a good lay, you know. You would have you would have had to want somebody that's wearing a Santa suit. Oh, uh, she would have made up for Actually, it. I, I got I got my Santa glasses. My when I came up here, my Santa suit Santa glasses broke and then reading glasses came in a few days ago. And they were they were perfect for the Santa suit. So you're just role playing. Yeah, they, uh, role playing at this point. Yep. I got the reading glasses. I got a list, and I got a big sack and a sleigh. I do have a sleigh. I actually, a Christmas Eve, I was driving around town on my skidoo in my Santa suit. Weren't you part of the parade or something at your? I was. I was Christmas Day. I was on in the parade. I was on the on top of the big fire truck. <sighs> I got a question. Before the year before you arrived, who was Santa in your village for that parade? I have no idea. Whoever he was, he didn't fit the part as well as I did. I, I, yeah, I would say most people wouldn't fit the part as well. What is your problem? Why are you freaking out for? It's being grumpy. You're humiliating yourself, Arnold. You're on live television. What? What do you want? He's tired and he's fighting it. Go to bed. Come on, why don't you go to sleep? Uh, we, we, we get to listen to that from Gizmo right now. Gizmo just wants to be outside all the time. Here. All like looking out the windows and shit, like shut up, dog. 
How old is he? Gizmo would be uh, eight or nine weeks now, something like that. Somewhere between seven and eight, nine weeks, somewhere in there. Uh, and he is used to being outside the whole time. Yeah, he uh, he lived under a shed. Oh, that's a uh, place. Hey, hey, relax, relax, come on. You're tired. Go to sleep. He's gonna start running your laps of the condo in a second, then you'll pass out. You're being disruptive. We're trying to talk serious business here. Arnold. To choke you out. It's spanking. Come on. Yeah, bulldogs are. They're something. Uh, bulldogs are something nobody would know up here because they can't get them. You can't even fly them up here, can you? Nope. No, I mean that's that's the only reason we don't have Boris is he couldn't fly. Um, so where's Boris at now? We we went through a we went through a boxer rescue and found him a good family. Oh, good. Well, you couldn't give him to like. Uh, didn't you give your your white puffball dog to Alicia's family? Yes. Too bad they couldn't take Boris. Yeah, they they they've always they always wanted the Great Pyrenees, and I mean, I saved that Great Pyrenees. I never meant to really keep it. And I'm like, you want a Great Pyrenees? I have a Great Pyrenees. <laughs> this works out. Well, that was a cool dog. How big is that dog now? Uh, pretty close to uh, 110 pounds or so. Oh, okay. She's pretty large. That's, that's about how much my shepherd weighs, except she's not supposed to weigh that much. She's fat. My mom feeds her too much. Yeah. This guy, believe it or not, is about 70 pounds. He doesn't look like it. Well, He's just a... look, We just weigh... <laughs> Nanook is uh, five months old, five months and a week old, and we, we did weighed him a few days ago, and he's 65 pounds. Wow. And grow up. What? And Gizmo's 15 pounds, because we weighed him today before we, we earned him. My cousin just got a baby boxer. He's very cute. Yeah, they're they're fucking stupid, but they're amazingly cute and amazing dogs. Yeah, they compared to bulldogs. Bulldogs make them look like fucking geniuses. <laughs> this dog is just retarded. I mean, you're lovable, but you're retarded. What? Oh my god! You're so oh god, he's got that companion down. Wow. Babe, your painting fell. Arnold, that was totally your fault. I think it looks better like that. I do too. We're going to leave it like this. This is the result of care. Hey! Oh, asshole. He just bit me. Hey, what's your problem? You got pizza crust today. You should be in a good mood. That's why he's in a bad mood. There was too much oil in it. He's all worked up. He needs to poop. Yeah, he's walking to poop anytime he wants. He just goes on the balcony and does it. No, I think I have to lock him up. That's the only way he'll go to sleep. He'll fall asleep in a second. Give me a moment. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to go into your little area. We're going to chill there and go to sleep. And here, Alicia thought Nanook was a handful. No, this guy's a this guy's a huge asshole. We love him, but he's an asshole. He plays fetch really well, from what I saw. What's that? Said it looks like he really knows how to play fetch. Uh, he's pretty good at it, actually, which is ironic because I've had, it's been a long time since I've had a dog that played fetch. I've had shepherds they won't fetch. My other bulldog wouldn't fetch, but this guy is pretty good at it. Why 
when he wants to. Sometimes he just takes the ball and runs away. Come on, let's go. In your cage, you need to chill out. Oh. horny back. What do we got going on here? But I can't really go to that. Where did she see? Hmm. Oh. Okay, that's done for now. Hopefully, my wife won't notice that painting. Just don't say anything. Wow. Yeah, I have one of those shirts too. I just haven't worn it around town. I don't know what would happen. Your your command doesn't strike me that they're like that opposed to sex, whether it's consensual or not. I'm discovering a red like no other. Is that Rickard's red? Yes, sir. Are you putting uh, lemon juice in it? Not this time, no. No, that was, yeah, not good. I don't know what you did to make Joe come out of hiding because we hadn't heard from Joe in about six months and then he showed up yesterday on the chat. We we're like, holy fuck, it's Joe. We're still convinced Paul killed him and he's wearing his skin, but. There's somebody I haven't seen in a while either. I do see like him post things about his painting, but I haven't seen Paul in forever. No, he, I, well, first of all, I think he has a different job, so he can't hang out online anymore. And I think his home internet is just too crappy. He's tried to join us a few times and it just never works out very well. His paintings are, are damn good though. Yeah, he's like, um, was it Bob Ross? <laughs> he's making happy little trees. Who would have thought the sickest man we know is uh, a, a good children's entertainer? Oh. Well, what's uh, new? My, no, nothing's really new. I'm, uh, I'm just hoping my back is better tomorrow. What happened to your back? Uh, I lifted my stool on my own and was trying to shove a skid under it while it was up in the air, and I pulled my back while pushing the skid under. That'll happen. Yeah, I was trying to get it out of the dirt. Yeah. I got the back end. I have the back end up on a skid, but I was pulling the front end up and trying to kick the skid under, and it just uh, it didn't go well. How much does a skid do weigh? Uh, mine's about six fifty. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to budge that fucker. Never mind trying to stick. I mean, some it, I, I've, I've, we, the ones we sell range between five hundred and nine hundred pounds, mattering what size they are. Oh, your store sells skidoos? Mm hmm. I would imagine they'd be quite expensive up there. Like, oh, they're not, they're not much more than down south. The, the thing that costs more is the uh, PBI and the, uh, and the shipping. Mm. Right, like you ship it, you ship a skidoo by a plane, you're looking at like $3.50 a pound. You ship, uh, you ship it by boat. It's like two dollars a pound. Yeah, but you get oh, so you don't have the inventory on site. You have to order it. Yeah, we bring it. It comes from the south. We don't build them up here or anything. Mm. So, what does your store have actually in stock? Does it basically have all the essentials in stock, like food and stuff, and then you just order the big items, and you don't you don't have alcohol on the shelf? We uh we are food, clothes, fucking tools, fishing poles. Um, usually we have appliances in stock. 
We're waiting on more now because everything's sold out. Usually we have furniture in stock. We're waiting on more. It all sold out. Um, usually we have some ATVs and skidoos and stuff up here, but that, it's all gone right now. There's nothing up here. Um, I think there's four or five ATVs coming up on the sea lift with my side by side and one dirt bike. A dirt bike? There's more mm -hmm. dirt there. Gone. There's lots of dirt. Oh, okay. That is all snow. Oh, all the snow is pretty much gone. I mean, right now it's pretty much all dirt. Hmm. And when does the snow come back? Well, what's the temperature? Like, what was the temperature today? Uh, plus 12 today. It's not bad. We're, we're at like plus 20, but it's not that much of a difference. It's how much further north you are. Yeah, so we were we were plus twelve today. Um, not sure what it's supposed to be tomorrow. I haven't looked. I do have to go once it gets warm enough. I have to go and paint the back door of my store, but I just haven't done it yet. So is your store you sell booze at all? Pardon? Your store doesn't sell booze. No, the only alcohol you get here is bought at the co-op. Cause they, cause they got what the SAQ in Quebec. Does that affect you up here or no? No. So how come the co-op can sell and you can't? They're specialty retailer or something? Uh, no, no. The co-op just got alcohol sales, and at the time we, at the time our company said, well, if they can sell it, why can't we sell it? But at the time, the mayor of this town was really good friends with the GM of the co-op, so he just said, well, no, you don't get to sell it. Only the co-op does. Well, that kind of sounds a douchebag thing to do. Pretty sure that's actually would be illegal in the South. Uh, there, there's a lot of things that are technically illegal with the way a lot of things go on. Huh. Yeah, you don't say. Like, how much of this stuff costs? Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. I mean, I know they got to ship it up there, but I mean, Fregman. Like well, this is the thing, right? You, you're because the SAC does control alcohols, just like with the LCBO. You can't sell the beer itself for more money than than the LCBO is selling it for. Um, you you have to sell it like at a standard cost. So these twelve packs all are supposed to cost the same. So what they're saying is that the shipping on top of the twelve pack is what's changing the price so much but the shipping isn't as much as they're making it out to be again they're flying it up here so you're looking at 350 a pound so do the math of 350 a pound on top of a 12 pack of beer right like you're not adding that much to it yeah like what's that like that's like an extra 15 bucks maybe a case yeah yeah like uh and yeah then, but they're trying to say that it's like what they're doing is since they can't change the price of the alcohol, like they can't say, well, they can't say, well, the alcohol costs more. What they're saying is they're factoring in like $45, $50 for freight per 12 pack, which just isn't feasible or true. No, it's just they know people will pay it. So that's that. Pretty much. Good day, Pop Culture Vegan. How are you? Pop Culture Vegan. Never heard of that person before. Looks like Ashley's long lost brother. Oh shit. Pop culture vegan sexton. <laughs> so what are you doing tonight, sir? Not much. I was uh I came home, had a beer, had some pizza, got tired, had a nap, and then got woken up by my wife and the dog, and decided, oh, Chad's yeah. got Let's go see what's going on with Chad. I came in. I came home from work. I went into work. I started, like, collecting everything that the store needed, 
And my big boss came up and she's like, how's your back? I'm like, it's still fucked. She's like, well, why don't you go home? Take another day off. I go, okay, I'm good with that. So I came home, I crawled into bed. And then Braith goes, I'm going to the Northern to see mom. I go, okay, whatever, go to the store and see mom. And I'm laying in bed. She locks both the puppies up in their crates. And then it sounded like World War fucking 15 going on out there. Just from all the howling and scratching and barking. And I'm like, motherfucker. So I had to let them both out, put them in the bed with me to shut them up. And then they were just jumping on me the whole time. I'm like, fuck off, dogs. And then Alicia comes home and hands me my receipt from my uh, my beer today. And he's like, here's your beer. They don't have it. They couldn't at least substitute it with something? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm other than my back hurt in pop culture vegan. I'm pretty good. How about yourself, Greg? How are you doing? Just asking. I'm doing just fantastic. Why not? So, so what happened was I sent her. Well, she came back with my receipt, right? So first thing, I bought the twelve pack of keys, and again, tall boys instead of small cans. But the twelve pack of keys is normally ninety eight dollars, and she goes, "Your account number." And I tell her, but she doesn't put it under my account number. She puts it under my name. So now it's $108 instead of $98. And I'm like, well, whatever. I paid that $10 administration fee, whatever. Uh, go home, hand the receipt to Alicia. I'm like, when you're out and about, can you go pick this up for me? She goes, okay. I lay in bed. She comes back. She's like, here's your receipt. They don't have any. They sold, like they're sold out of keys. I go, but they sold me a receipt for keys. You'd think they'd have a computer system that would tell them, hey, we have none of this in the fucking store. But no, no, they don't. So then she had to go back and wait in line for another half hour to get back inside to uh, to switch it for another brand. She tells them the other brand. They chart, they give her a refund. She uh, goes to the door to get it. She gets it. She gets home, and what was in the bag was the was the Molson Dry instead of the Bud. Oh. And I know we've already had that conversation. We did tell this story earlier. I'm wondering when his wife's going to notice that he broke that picture. Yeah, it, it was frustrating, but it is what it is, right? It's, it's first world problems. I just can't understand why if you're going to run a system where you make people come to you first and buy the receipt and then have to go and pick it up later with said receipt why you wouldn't have a system that tells you what your inventory is you'd think that you'd have a perpetual inventory system then but whatever because they're like f you we got your money yeah pretty much i think yeah you might be right about that yeah and then um yeah So is there any, okay, what, what can you do in terms of ordering beer? Like, can you order something through the SAQ and just pay for shipping up to you? Uh, usually you can. Right now you can't. Right now the limit is just the 12 pack a day from the, from the co-op. Now why is that? What they let you do, uh, well, they, they put more restrictions on. What it used to be is you could buy a 12 pack of beer a day from the co-op and you could order a two four from the south from like Marche Turin or or somewhere else in Montreal uh, per week so that they'd limit the amount of alcohol you could get and that's why the bootleggers exist because we have limits on this stuff and people don't like limits they want to be able to do what they want to do mm -hmm. um, but anyway so then when COVID-19 hit they put a curfew in effect that basically you had to be home by like 9 p.m and they shut down all alcohol sales so there was no alcohol for like three months Jeez. and then they brought alcohol back they brought alcohol back but they only brought it back as an eight pack at first so you could go and buy eight bottles uh eight cans sorry um and that was uh 42 dollars for eight cans so they were actually losing a couple bucks per when you do the math for what their what their 12 packs cost but anyway uh they were selling eight cans at a time and you could buy them Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then they went to Monday to Friday, eight cans. Now they're Monday to Friday, 12 cans. So they're slowly giving you giving you some ability to do things again. 
See, that strikes me as pretty dangerous because I know you've told me in your community that there are some people that are pretty dependent on alcohol and to just cut them off completely. Like that, that can kill some people. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing, right? Like anywhere. I mean, why, why did Ontario not just stop alcohol? Because, because of alcoholics and like they, they, they didn't. No, SAC is uh, is basically like the Society Alcohol Quebec, so the Quebec LCDO. Um, but yes, the SAC, uh, you can order from the SAC and they'll ship it up by Canada Post. But um, right now you can't order any alcohol from the South. Hopefully they lift that restriction soon. Hey, well, well, I mean... Go ahead. Sorry? No, I said on chat. I, I was going to say, like, it. We keep talking over each other. I was just going to say that we were getting our patios open this week. Well, apparently in the next week or so, we're getting patios open. So, yay. He did just extend your uh, your emergency order, too, for another month. So, yeah. I mean, you know, frankly, we're all kind of over, over the COVID at this point. Like, we had a massive Black Lives Matter protest today. It's probably going to happen all weekend. Nobody is Some of them are wearing masks. Some of them aren't. It's like, at this point, people just don't give a shit. Yeah, like, uh, so when you when you do, well, that was the thing, right? So they got rid of alcohol because they felt that, you know, if you're drunk, you're not going to listen to the rules and this and that. And you're... Uh, it, COVID-19 getting up here was a bad thing, and I can understand exactly why they're scared of, of if the outbreak had really spread further than it did. And, I mean, when, when you get into these communities, you have tuberculosis problems, you have overcrowding, you have you, – sometimes you're waiting for days for water, so you have, a, you have problems with getting proper hygiene at times, and – I mean, it, it's it's one of those things. There's an there's an elder population up here, and again, the elders, a lot of them have had tuberculosis in their life. Uh, so, I mean, it's it was a big fear, and it was what can we do? So, it was to shut down everything. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I understand I understand some of the thought behind it, but unfortunately, the thing is, you can't just take away if somebody is already dependent on alcohol taking that away is not necessarily the best thing in the world. Like part of what I heard, I mean, let's be honest. I mean, alcohol sales would thrive, you know, they, they run the Ontario economy, but you know, the other thing is that they were saying, well, we don't want to take people's alcohol away because then suddenly we end up with more alcoholics in the hospitals, clogging up hospital beds that we need for COVID patients. So, I mean, that, that does make sense, yeah. but you know, a lot of people think, well, I mean, whatever people I, I had a lot of friends that worked at the LCBO that were angry they're like well why do we have to be here because somebody has an addiction and uh, I'm like really guys yeah that's kind of why you're there because they're trying to make it so that people aren't clogging up the system because that's what the whole thing was about was making it so the hospitals were able to cope I mean we ended up what happened was one person one person ended up passing through with with COVID-19. The way COVID-19 hit Nunavik is a person ended up flying from Montreal to, to their hometown to go visit their family. They were coming back to see their family, and they were positive. They just didn't know yet. And they brought it up, and uh, it hit Salowit was the first case. And as soon as Salowit got it, I'm like, okay, so either we have it or Kujuak has it. And my wife's like, well, how so? I go, well... To get to Salowit, you have to go through one of those two towns, right? It matters which way your plane went, which coast it went up. Salowit's the very top, and we're a hub, and Kujuak's a hub. We're just both on other sides of uh, of the border, basically. And it was it was us that got it, and then Pavernatuk ended up with uh, with fifteen cases, and then out of nowhere, this magical case in Nukjuak showed up, and nobody knows how it got there because. <laughs> This, we were we were completely locked down. Like they locked down Salowit and they locked down everything, and then all these cases were popping up in Pavernatuk, but nobody could leave and get anywhere. And then as all the cases were 
clearing up in Pavernica, then Inukjuak's like, we have a case. And everybody's like, how did that happen? And they ever find out, or are they just like, eh? Uh, and nobody's ever said anything, so I don't know. Well, and I mean that's that's just the thing, pop culture vegan. It's it's one hundred percent true, and uh, they they are, and people people just don't realize it. Are they like genetically more susceptible to disease or whatever? Or, pardon my ignorance, but uh, it's it's again the the overcrowding, the lack of uh, the lack of so much stuff. Like, there, what is it? We have over 1,700 people here. There's maybe, maybe 300 homes. Yeah, I can see that being a problem. Well, I mean, you got, you got, there are your, some, what, four people in your home? Five people? Yeah, we, we have four right. here. But I mean, there, there are some houses that have fifteen or sixteen people living in them. Like, yes. like it's, wow. it's. They need. Uh, I don't, I don't even know where to go with it. It's things need to be changed, but it's not going to change ever quickly up here or anywhere else in Canada for that matter. I mean, all the reserve lands need, need the same type of thing as the Inuit lands do. It's, I don't know. Like I said, we've been lucky. We're, we're in a good community. We're in a community where our water has always been drinkable since we've been here. We're in a community where our water drivers almost always show up to work. Um, usually you, you're told you go get two to three water deliveries a week. We usually get five because they're in the area anyway, so they just show up and top you up. Um, our pumps have been in pretty good condition. Uh, like, we, we've been pretty lucky. This is a pretty good community, all things considered. Um, but there is a lot of things that could change and could be better. Yeah, it sounds like it. Well, I mean, let's be honest. I think native communities in general are kind of screwed over by Canadian, the Canadian government. But and I mean, that's that's what we were talking about yesterday. I kind of want to steer off of this topic soon enough, but um, we talked about that yesterday. Like, people don't realize just how screwed over this stuff is from our own government because they don't. It's not like anyone talks about it. It's not like it's it's public knowledge. It's it's kind of like Canada's dirty secret. Yeah. Well, well we can talk about whatever else you want, but <laughs> just hey, you're my friend that yeah. lives fucking north on a native reserve, so that's what we're gonna talk I about. I don't I don't live on a native reserve. I live on Inuit live land. Close to one. I'm native reserve. Okay, you live close to one. Uh, I don't live close to a native reserve. The closest native reserve is past the tree line down that way. I'm nowhere near that stuff. Oh, well, see, I'm an ignorant racist. I don't even know what's what a native reserve is. What uh, What do you guys got for, like, a hospital there? Like, do you have a decent hospital, decent um, stuff? We do have uh, – we have what – we have one of the best health centers here. It is considered a hospital. They do do minor surgeries. They have they have doctors. They have nurses. It's it's fairly large. Um, we have the transit house. The transit house is where like we're we're one of the hubs. Like I said, so if people get sick, they get sent here. If they can't get fixed up here, they get sent to Montreal. Mm. So um, and then Kujawak also has a hospital on the other on the other coast. So basically, if you get sick. And you're on this coast, you get sent here or to Montreal. If you're on the other coast, you get sent to Kujuac or you get sent to Montreal. Okay. So can you guys do like, you know, cosmetic stuff like breast implants, tummy tucks, all that stuff up there? No. Well, that's a shame. 
I know I'd, I'd have some breast implants right now. If I could. There you go. Why not? Have them put in your back so your wife can just rub your back in a whole different way. Ooh, ooh. Can I get breast implants in my back so you can rub them? No. You came at the right time. No, I did not. <laughs> Love you. So she's just holding you back from being the true, the true double backed beast that you're meant to be. Oh, excuse me, I'll tell her that when I leave. <laughs> no um yeah no i i actually really like it up here like i said uh, we've talked about some of the things that have bothered me in, in private we've talked about stuff like that and i mean that's it, it's a really nice place there's really amazing people there is the same problems that you have anywhere else in the world it's just the population is so much smaller that you notice it faster i guess would be the best way to put it and um I mean, I'm, I'm not great at the language. I'm learning a few words here and there. Uh, my pronunciation of the words is not very good, but I don't even pronounce English words all that well. So, I mean, yeah, you know, like, um, the, 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 I, there, there are people that tell me their names and I just, uh, I, their, their names I'm, I'm never going to get. And I try, but and I feel bad when I can't get it. And I'm like, look, man, I speak bad English and I speak worse Gaelic, and uh, neither of those translate to Nipitic very well. So I'm trying here. Oh, what are you gonna do? I mean, no matter what you do, if you could live there for 20 years, you're never gonna be like truly one of them. You know, you're always gonna be kind of an outsider, but. Unless they see you kill a pillar bear with your bare hands, then they might be impressed. Again, it's it's like uh, one of our one of our cleaners, like he comes in to clean the store. Is uh, his name is Kutsiak, and I can never properly get the uh, get the pronunciation of it. Like he he knows I try, and he's he's. He's uh, corrected me almost every time I say his name, but uh, there was there was these two people that were sent up here to work for a bit, and they they couldn't say his name at all, so they just gave him a new name. Like, hey, Peter. Sorry, ambulance. Fucking Toronto. Yeah. Fucking Toronto. Uh, so so they. They started calling him Peter, but I didn't know they were talking about him. Right? They were in the they were in the kitchen. I was I was doing candy and stuff, and they're like, oh, "We're gonna go get Peter to do the garbage." And I'm like, "Who the fuck is Peter?" So I walk around the corner and I look, and I see Pitsiak there, and they're showing him, you know, how to uh, what what they need him to do and all. And I go over to him and I go, "Do they call you Peter?" He goes, "Yeah." And I'm like, "Do you want me to correct them for you?" He goes. It's not worth it. And just goes back to work. And I'm, like, I'm sorry, man. I can't say your name right, but I don't fucking make up a new name. Hey, listen, I think I've got a pretty simple name. There's an Asian lady at my work, that, and I've worked with her for four years-ish. And uh, she still thinks my name is Gray. She doesn't understand my name is Greg. She calls me Gray. She emails me, hey, Gray. I'm like, All right. Whatever, I'm great. That's fine. <laughs> so we had a uh, we had a Czechoslovakian lady that worked at the casino with me, and her name was uh, Renata, and she always called me Chat, right? Chat, and I thought that she, you know, it was her accent not being able to do the D properly because her mom, uh, her daughter worked for us too, and her daughter would say my name in front of her and all that and all this. And then one day she was tipping out and I wasn't at the bar, so she left a cup at the bar with my name on it. And she actually wrote chat. And I walked in and I looked at that. And I, I, I went looking for her and I found her down in the non-gaming bank. And I go, okay, so we've worked together for years. And I thought you were just, it was just your accent. My name ain't chat. <laughs> it's Chad. Oh, Chad. But, uh, uh, pop culture vegan. Yes, I do have a 12 pack of Molson Dry to drink. Uh, Unfortunately, I do have it. 
I drank one of them so far. Actually, the Molson Dry goes really good with the with the lemon juice. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I uh, yeah, it goes really well. I think when you mix lemon juice with beer and you say it three times, Joe appears to correct you. <laughs> Lemon juice, lemon juice, lemon juice. Uh, see, I've got the opposite problem as you. Is I have too many IPAs in my fridge. Anything other than an IPA. Oh, I'm at the point where I want. I'm even craving pilsners and shit, man. I just want beer. Well, yeah, you just want something that doesn't have freaking adjuncts. I was like, I was gonna say, like, even like a like a a Molson exporter would be nice. But I won't lie, I do kind of want that Bud uh, Bud Nitro. I haven't tried it yet either. I haven't seen it. No, I I, I love Joe though. Look at him; he's getting excited about Bud Nitro. He's lived up there too long. <laughs> Listen, Nick went out and bought a twelve pack of Bud Nitro, and Nick lives in reasonably well stocked beer area, so. People like to try new shit. People like to see, hey, a big guy is, you know, one of those things, beers I'm always disappointed I can never get anymore is Molson Canadian wheat. Because I'm like, oh, well, there was Molson Canadian. They made a wheat beer, and it was half, half decent. Uh, you know what? Can you still get Fireside Lager? Because that was actually a good beer. I believe so, yeah. I think I, I saw it on the shelves, like, within the last few months. Most of, the, most of the stuff sticks around, and then after a year or so, it just kind of disappears, and they bring out new shit. Excuse me. A less than perfect beer is still way better than no beer. Um, yes and no. There are some beers that I would rather just not drink at all in life. Not Not too, too many, but there are some. Yeah, nice thing about having no beers, you can lose a little weight. It's kind of hard to lose weight when you're drinking the beer. Especially every evening. You know what? I'm stressed about COVID. I need my daily beer or six beers, however many that is. I can't count. He's asking you what you're sipping on, Gregory. I was having a thrust IPA. So um, I'll let you guys vote. Well, I guess it'll be pop up to Google and Rhino can, can vote what my next beer is. I can have a. Johnny Simcoe Pale Ale. I can have a Forlorn Unicorn New England IPA, 5.5%. Or I can have a Bone Shaker. Those are, I think, the three things I have in my fridge. I probably have other I stuff. think you should have a Unicorn. A Unicorn. Where's Pop a Pop? Unicorn. Oh, Boo's here. I don't know who Boo is. Good day, Boo. How are you? He's got a skeleton. Yeah, it's 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 been a long time since we've actually done a Beer Dweebs United and. Only two of us are here tonight. We should have done this yesterday. We did one yesterday. It was fun. It went to some dark topics, but it was fun regardless. Yeah. Uh, I would have kept it up, but there was just too much stuff my ex-wife could have. Yeah, that was my fault. I, I apologize. But I was drunk in my defense, so I take no responsibility. <laughs> All right. Pop culture agrees on the unicorn. All right. We'll have the unicorn then. Uh, my dogs are getting along. I can't believe it. I haven't heard one like yip or yelp or bite or. I love that he broke that picture. Okay, um, beer one, beer two, or beer three, guys. What should I have next? One, two, or three. Uh. I also have a dry hop sour from GLB, which is something they don't do very often, but I've only got one left, and I'm thinking about sending it to Nick because i got to send a beer mail to Nick soon. Because he's apparently sent me a beer mail like like a month ago, and it's still sitting in a can of post truck somewhere, aging. <laughs> well, you're used to LCBO aging, so you'll be okay with that. Yeah, it'll probably be fine. So this is the yeah, I have a, I have some packages that I've been waiting on since May third that still aren't here. Yeah, it's weird. Some stuff gets here in like a week, 
and other stuff is over a month and it's still not here. Um, I'm waiting on a pa- I'm waiting on a couple packages from Best Buy. I'm waiting on one from Old Navy. I'm waiting on for my amazing clubs. Uh, two from Brad Jensen. One from Sage. Um, a couple from Alicia's mom and a couple from Amazon. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I can't complain too much because, you know, we still get stuff relatively quickly, but just anything can oppose. Like, I'll literally, I don't normally don't like paying for shipping, and I will pay extra to not have my package shipped by Canada Post because it's so slow. UPS, FedEx, Purelator, boom, here to me the next day. The Canada Post fucking sorting facility is a five-minute drive from my parents' house where I have most of my package sent. Takes two weeks. To get to me, like, like, oh, it takes two weeks. Like, it, it's ridiculous. Like, come on, cannibals, get your shit together. Well, I was trying to figure out what was going on with some of my packages because we were being sent backwards. Like, I, I'm gonna guess that they've they've closed some sorting stations or something because there's packages that have started like near Toronto that have gone back to Stony Creek and then come out. And I can't, I can't figure it out. I'm like, why, why would they go backwards to Stony Creek and then come back forward? And I mean, because, you know, I figure Mississauga is where you'd send it and then send it out from there. But you're sending it back to Stony Creek. Well, I don't specifically know about why they're sending it back and forth. That I can't answer. But uh, one of my friends uh, used to work at Canada Post and still is friends with a lot of people there. And essentially what's happening with Canada Post right now, all, all the career companies are having basically Christmas time left, right? So FedEx, Pure Leader, UPS, they brought in their seasonal staff. So no problem. They're getting stuff to everyone on time. Canada Post has refused to hire their seasonal staff because they don't want to pay them. So as a result, we're dealing with Christmas time rushes and not enough people to deal with them. And they're social distancing, so it's even worse. Well, like the co-op has our post office too. So you have to go into the co-op to get to the post office. The co-op only lets 15 people in the store at a time right now. Yeah. And you have you have all these people going in to buy beer. So you're in this like 200 person line to try and get into the post office. And you get in and you open up your post, you like your mailbox, and you can see packages piled from the floor to the ceiling in the back room. But they just they can't. There there's two people that work there, and they just can't keep up with sorting it. But some of the stuff back there, I know for a fact is my stuff because it's come from companies that my buddies run that I know for a fact nobody up here is ordering from. So yeah. I can see the box with the label on it. And I'm like, that's my fucking box. But I have to wait until they get to it. And it's just, it's not happening. It's been, I can, every, I've seen it every day for the last two weeks. I open up my post and I see that box sitting there. Well, that's one of the frustrating things. I'm just like, okay, the store facility is right there. Can I just go and pick up my package? No, Canada Post has to attempt to deliver it at least like twice before you can pick it up. It's like, ah. Yeah, well, um, Dan, who I thought was eating dinner right now, I've uh, I've also seen, uh, I've had some of my packages actually ship all the way out to BC first and then come back. Um, Two of my my flat rate boxes actually went from Ontario all the way out to BC and then then to Pavernica. It made no sense to me. Made no sense. Dan comes from fuck was that? Of Alberta. Where they fixed all of COVID. Uh Bud next. Ooh. And of course, we need the lemon juice. Like, is there is there drag races still happening outside your place? Is that what, what the fuck's going on out there? You know, you know what's funny is I think you guys hear it louder than I do. Because yeah, there were some uh, cars that sounded like Civics just going by with exhausts or whatever, but they weren't that loud to me. And you guys, I think, hear them a lot louder than I do. But yeah, well, there's lots of drag races. Well, the thing the thing is, Chad, with uh, Ontario, because so many things were closed down, they were 
catching guys left and right, just going insane speeds. Like they caught some 90 year old kid driving his dad's, his dad's Mercedes 308 kilometers on, on yep. the, I forget what it was, the 401 or whatever it was. It's like, why are they just freaking going nuts speeding like maniacs? Like, I'm driving, I drive to work, you know, I, often I'm taking my Camaro out and, you know, I'm not driving slow. I'm going about 40 over the limit. Like it's a 90 zone. I'm going like a buck 30. And fucking dudes in their fucking like Civics and Toyota like, Corollas and shit just blasting past me. <laughs> okay. Just go and talk to us, Dan. Stop telling us what you're drinking. Come show us. Come show us, Dan. I think Dan's afraid of you, to be honest. Doesn't like me because I have no pigment. Wow, Jesus, Dan, that's like reverse racism. Yep, I should unfriend him on uh, Untapped. You should, and if you don't, your will unfriend you. Um. Oh, somebody's here. Ooh, a new person. Oh, that's not Dan. Curry. Hello. Hello, Curry. Hello. There's someone with a lot of pigment. You know it, baby. <clears throat> yeah, no. Um, yeah, so I'm waiting on those packages. I'm hoping to get them soon. I'm still pissed off about the packages that got sent to BC first before sent here. That, that Those ones bother me. Yeah, that doesn't seem like that helps me. I did get uh, I I've gotten a few refunds too because things just haven't shown up in like like I said I'm waiting on some packages that have been out since like May third and I'm calling the companies and I'm like your packages aren't here I want my money They're like oh well maybe they'll still show up I go yeah you told you told me to wait one to five business days I gave you fifteen business days then I contact you it's now been like twenty five business days pay me bitch. Yeah, I, I had a package come through Canada Post where it was like two or three weeks after they sent it. So I put in a, a thing to Canada Post saying, hey, can you track this package? They came back to me and basically said, oh, we can't track it. It's probably lost, but you have to get the guy, the people who sent it to put in a thing. So I called the store or I emailed the store. I said, hey, can you deal with Canada Post? They said, okay, great. We put in another thing to Canada Post. It'll be another 10 business days before they get back to you and they'll tell you what's happening with your package. I'm like eight or nine business days later, the package shows up and it's damaged. It's like, well, now I got to send it back. And now it's on its way back. It, I don't know how long it'll take to get back. To it, but. Uh, okay, Boo, you have a good time getting your beer. Thank you for stopping by. Bye. I see we have both. I think that was Dan in the background and then he left. Dan was here. There was somebody down there. Maybe it was the mysterious Joe. Zuger Wanger, Brett says hi. Uh, hi, Brett. No, there, there was a. I, I, yeah, you guys got to remember, I'm blind. You got to give me a second to get my to even find my mouse to click on you to let you in. You're only legally blind. You're not blind enough. I'm blind enough, motherfucker. <laughs> if you can have a dragon scout. Fuck having a dragon. I'm telling Boychuck you're having a dragon stout. If you can tell the difference between a penis and a vagina from six feet away, you're not blind enough. Oh, and to and say to say one thing about that that Mercedes that was going 300 and some kilometers an hour. Yeah, I know the person that works. I know the person that works on that Mercedes. Was it Boychuck? It may or may not be. I don't know. I mean, that's a fairly new Mercedes. I don't know why they're not just taking it to the dealership. One, one of Pop Culture Vegan's roomies is legally blind. Dang, wish I got beer tonight. It's Friday. What was I thinking? What were you thinking? What were you thinking? I, I waited in a line for all of 10 minutes today to get in to get my beer to get my receipt. Then my wife waited in the line for 15 minutes to get up to the door to find out she didn't, they didn't have the beer I had bought. Then she waited in line for 30 minutes to get into the office to get a new receipt. And then she waited in the line for 15 minutes to get up to the door to get another beer for me. And then it was the wrong beer. 
but the one they gave me was more expensive than the one I was supposed to get. So whatever. Well, there you go. Even if I don't like it, all worked out. I don't know. I've never understood the. Maybe, maybe just because I'm like a proper alcoholic, but I've never understood the whole. Oh, I should have bought beer. It's like I. I don't think I ever have any less than like about twenty beers in my fridge. And if I do, I start to get well, angry. I mean, this is the first time I've had beer in the house in a long time. Hmm. Like I said, you're not a proper alcoholic. This isn't the first well, time I just here last night. Well, well, that's what I'm saying. These these two days is basically the first time in a while I've had that case of beer in the house, and it's because I refuse to wait in that motherfucking line. Just Greg, refuse. What happened to the painting behind you? Involving <laughs> Arnold's, and oh. I've chosen not to fix it because Chad's decided it looks better. So we'll see if my wife agrees. Oh. I think it does look better like that. Um, Black Hole Stout, are you talking Railway City Black Hole Stout? Because if you're talking Railway City Black Hole Stout, the first year they made Railway City Black Hole Stout, it was very, very, very thin. And we uh, we did a video on it. We, we were I, I knew Ray. We did a video on it, and we talked about how thin it was, and then he made it thicker, and then it was fucking awesome. And Ray also got angry at me because we were doing uh, – we were talking about Double Dead Elephant. Uh, double Dead Elephant was their double – Dead Elephant, so they're double IPA. But when they first put it out in the LCBO, it was in the big hand-painted champagne bottles, and they were like $14. And I'm like, why the fuck would I pay $14 for this? And me and me and Jordan St. John on Facebook were going back and forth about it and about the price about it and how much it was how much that price was stupid, especially with things that were in the market at the time, because like you could get uh you could get uh 10 bitter years at the time for like five bucks or be modest from Nickelbrook for five bucks. And I'm like, why would I pay almost twice that for an inferior beer? And then Ray contacted me on Facebook and he sent me like a 15 page rage quit and then blocked me on everything. Mm. Yeah, I, I would think a brewery needs to have a little bit thicker skin than that. You think? Like someone doesn't well, like what he's they like, made. Ah! It wasn't even that I didn't like what they made. The beer was okay. It was I didn't like the price because it was in that fucking hand painted bottle. And he's like, "Well, do you realize these bottles cost us six dollars a bottle?" And I'm like, "So don't put them in that fucking bottle." What do you know? The next year they came out in fucking five hundred milliliter cans. And yeah, now they're in cans. Now they're actually pretty reasonably priced. I don't remember the price I paid for them, but you know what? Now Who's got, got the whole double dog noise in the background right now? Is that cat? That would be. That would be no, that's me. That's my two dogs fighting. That is horrible. Yeah. Well, one of them's a husky, right? They they fucking they sing. The reason that the reason his brother was named Chewbacca was he sounded like a fucking no, yet uh, I mean, you, you explained this last night, but last night he wasn't being like that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you guys just told me you couldn't hear him last night. This is what he was doing oh, all night. Yeah. I thought you'd hear him. Oh, look, it's Daniel. See, you guys, I don't know. I just don't know, guys. It's, it's just, come on in. All right, fine, I'm in. What the fuck do you want from me? <laughs> we want you to take your shirt off and show us them pity. That's later, Greg. I need more beers for that. Good. Well, are we turning into a drunk poker <laughs> No. No. That's not cool, man. That's not cool. But, uh, yes, there's, uh, I agree that that is a good beer. I do agree. I'm just saying that uh, if you if you actually watch back on the videos, we did it when it first came out, and then we did it yeah. again after he released it. And it was good it's a good beer, second. but like to to say gold medal winner, like I don't know, I I could I could think of a lot of stouts that I would drink. Oh, like Black Coal's not bad, but it's not the best. Um, Napoleon I'm, Stout. I think we're going Ontario at this point here, Dan. Oh, That's the gold medal fine. Well, you, you guys know that I, I'm a firm believer that no stout that is under 10% is good. But when it comes to light stout, I mean, uh, Black Coal is pretty reasonable. It's a pretty good stout for the ABV. Uh, I have two beers left out, and then I have. What do I have left? Fuck, I have 20 beers left. I could make a couple hundred bucks on those 20 beers. Yeah, you could, but this is part of the problem, Chad. I know, I know. Yep. Yeah, but at least you're saving money or getting money back. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. 
Yeah, if we were acting a lot different than we are acting, I feel like I feel like we're not gonna get the FBI involved just because we're talking. Yeah, see, I'm kind of sad that I'm not. I'm, I'm bald, but I'm not quite bald enough for this chat. <laughs> well, I, I, I take a few minutes, go to the shower, fix it up. <laughs> I had my Santa hair for quite a bit. It was it was about a week ago that I shaved. I shaved this just uh, about an hour ago. So. When I used to work at a, in the kitchen at the Moose, I don't even know where it came from, but when somebody bought, I like when I used to shave my head there for the first time ever, they bought, it was just like this little rubber kind of hat that you could wear on your head. And it was like, it was the reservoir tip of a condom, basically. And it had like the little fucking thing on top. It made my head look like a penis. It was pretty funny. There you go. Good time. And it got weird when like female patrons came in and you started headbutting them. No, I was in the <laughs> kitchen. So that was near the oh, I was. Out. Like I said, I was at work for a bit today, and Gaina came up to me, and Gaina was like rubbing my head, going, "Oh, Chad, your hair grows so fast." Like, yes, Gaina, my hair grows fast. Well, someone you know is not just a random. Uh, yeah, I know, I know, Gaina. She's one of my employees. Oh, at this point, it's because it's because she lost her job on the fucking on the Enterprise ever since they. That's what I was thinking. Is that Whoopi Goldberg? Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> no, that's Guy Nen, not Guy Na. That's close enough. The joke still works. Yeah. But apparently, if Picard season two happens, she was invited to be on it as Guy Nen. I, you know what? I, I approved season three, so. You know what? I Overall, I did not love the first season of the card, but I liked the way it ended. So the show has a good potential. I still have not watched the entire thing, so I beg it. Nor have I. Well. Yeah, I no spoilers. Any of it. I beseech. <laughs> you know what? I really wish. I, I wish Netflix would put like Netflix and Amazon Prime. I wish they would put their their shows out on DVD for people that don't have Netflix or Amazon Prime or want to not stream it because sometimes my internet doesn't work. Like, I would love to have The Punisher. There's a lot of shows I'd love to have. Oh, well, eventually they'll come out, I imagine. <laughs> Granted, you could always do it the fun way and torrent them. Oh, wait. So you don't have good internet. <laughs> no, you, you, you could. You could fucking set, you could set some stuff to download and go to bed. And when you wake up in the morning, it might be done. You might have one episode, just like you did when back in, what, 1999? <laughs> no. Man, that reminds me back in the day I wanted to download a 14 megabyte video and I had to set it overnight and it took like three nights before it finally downloaded and didn't screw up. I remember, my, my, sorry, go ahead. No, I was just going to say because continuing downloads weren't a thing back then. If your download fucked up, you had to start again. Yeah, I remember there used to be a couple like things you could buy, like programs you could use to resume internet downloads and shit. It was like such a big deal. But oh, yeah. my, my, my buddy Devin, he spent probably the better half of a month downloading the phantom menace like it was like, like the shittiest cam version you've ever seen in your life but it was like new star wars and he got it it was like a, it was like a gigabyte file back in the day when like people most people had like a five gigabyte hard drive kind of thing it was fucking hilarious <laughs> <laughs> oh god i remember downloading oh, the how, first how official of the internet has come. yeah Oh, there's clouds. We're all we're getting dark out because of clouds and the sun is covered. <laughs> How long does it stay light out there right now? It'll get dark at 1.30 and it'll start getting light again at 2.45. Jesus. That really would mess up a sleep schedule if you really wanted it to. Yeah, yeah especially if one of your buddies who has some uh, mental health issues like you decides to call you at 1 in the morning and talk to you until about 3 in the morning and then you have Ooh. to try and go to sleep. Yeah, that like that would happen last night? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Blackout blinds. Like we dead. have blackout blinds. I don't oh. know. You know what? He needed, he needed to talk. He needed to talk. I'm there for him. I'm just saying that, you know, by the time I went to bed, it was bright out again, just like it is right now. How many yeah, hours okay. do you get right now? Uh, about an hour and a half right now. Wow. Jeez. We're going to be able to shoot fireworks outside. I don't know why, but... Okay. Oh, the cops are gone. <laughs> you guys have these exciting... Oh, fireworks. Cops are gone. Oh, well, shit. Um, the guy who's mowing the lawn outside has gone for me. Does that count? Well, here, I'll let you see outside right now. I just this is how light it... 
I just assume Dan's exciting story is that hey, there's six feet of snow outside and it's minus 28. How you guys doing? <laughs> Actually, it's raining right now. That's why I'm uh, underneath my, uh, my, my umbrella. Wow, there we go. Okay, so here is here is outside my window right this second. Okay. It looks as light as uh, out here. Uh, estimated arrival one to eleven business days. It was sent a block away from my parents' house. Like Jesus, man. <laughs> Like that, you can walk it, you can just walk it over. Can you call me? I will come pick it up. I will take it. I'll do your job for you. Like fuck. <laughs> How the fuck's messaging me? I just want my shit oh. that I really need, but I want oh. it. Oh, look at that! There's the kid that I just yelled at today for throwing rocks at my dog. <laughs> <laughs> yell, yell at him. Did you kick it? Like, is, are we talking like an adult kid or like a kid kid? No, like like twelve. Okay, well, you don't have to murder him, but maybe you could break one of his arms or something. Only one? Eh, give him a warning. Give him a, like, you know, give him a multiple fracture in one arm, and then next time break both his legs. You're not a good gangster. You start with the thumbs and work your way up. Come on now, Greg. I'm so sorry. There's, yeah, this, there's this French guy that lives uh, little across the street and a little bit down. And he drives his skidoo year round. He takes the skis off of it and he puts wheels on it. Nice. And it's it's out right now. He he just drove by too. <laughs> uh, saves on gas. <laughs> oh, yeah, it sounds Why like a you don't just buy an ATV. Uh, because that costs more money. Oh, you can get ATVs pretty cheap compar comparative to what the cost of a fucking new uh, because it doesn't change it doesn't change the back end of the skidoo. The back end of the skidoo is still track. Those tracks are expensive to get up here. Mm. So if you're spending if you're changing that track yearly for like fourteen hundred dollars, you might as well just buy the fucking ATV. Uh, yeah, I guess. But seriously, what would be cheaper on gas? An ATV that's got four wheels or the Skidoo that's only got two tracks? Or I guess you put four wheels uh, on the gas. The ATV, because the ATV doesn't have as big an engine. Yeah. I mean, most most ATVs up here are like four tracks or ranchers, so 400cc to 570cc. Most Skidoo's up here. The Skidoo he's running is an 850 e-tech. Sorry, e-tech. Hmm. So it ain't good on gas. <laughs> True. <laughs> Fuck. Out of beer. Gotta conserve. Gotta conserve my beer. I think you're you have to conserve your beer. Like your wife later. No comment, Greg. No comment at all. Like a volcano ready to go. Oh, wait. <laughs> Let me turn you guys back on here. I didn't realize oh. I hadn't turned you back on yet. I'm turning. I'm turned on the entire time I'm here, baby. Oh, yeah, it doesn't take much. I know you. I know you are. Keep, keep sticking that sexy face right up to the camera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rub that head. Oh. Rub that head. <laughs> uh, Rub your good to get a tribute soon. <laughs> Must be a water cool to do. Um, no, I, I don't know what he's done to it. He has the tracks on it, like he has the skis on it in the winter, and then he puts wheels on it in the summer. And um, yeah, drives it. We do some drag races in the summertime, and they do some modifications to sleds and use them as drag machines. They're fucking insane. Like they go fucking in like close to two hundred miles an hour in a quarter mile in a fucking Mach Z or something like that. It's insane. <sighs> I, I'm still waiting for my side by side. I'm excited. You're gonna it's fucking tight. crash it, or you're gonna fucking roll it, or you're gonna fucking run over a drunk person. God, didn't they the already last do one that already on, uh, on uh, I saw that live, where I saw that filmed. Oh wait, oh, that, that, that wasn't here. That was... No, I, I sent I sent that video in the private chat too of uh, Nunavut. 
Oh, okay. The, uh, the, truck, the truck door. <laughs> yeah, that's that right. The, that's right. Pardon? Is that like the, the arrest video you sent? Yeah. Yeah, that, that video has totally gone viral. It was all over Twitter this morning. Yep. Was it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. It, it's time, you know. There, there's stuff that happens up here that is called for, and there's a lot of shit that happens up here that isn't. And the main reason it happens up here that, and not called for is because they don't think, one, nobody cares, and like nobody down south cares, and two, they don't think anyone's going to find out because, I mean, who has the internet that's going to let you upload something? Yeah. Well, apparently there was also another, uh, like a lady who was murdered, uh, uh, an Inuit lady who was, or, sorry, maybe not been Inuit, but she was an Aboriginal lady who has been murdered in, by cops or something the last day or two. Uh, that would have been the BC woman that was murdered by New Brunswick police. Mm. At least I do believe so. It's all been all over the BC news, so. You know, the thing, that, the thing that kills me, though, is that, like, you know, the whole George Floyd thing happened. Like, you'd think as a police officer, like, if I was a police officer, I'd be like, okay, this is a hot-button issue. we got to be – even if you're the type of person that's like, hey, normally I would put a guy in a chokehold or I'd put my knee on his back or something, I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to just take a break, just really watch myself because this is a real fucking hot-button issue right now. And then – these cops are like, now nah, we're just we're just gonna do it anyway. Why not? <laughs> it's like the ones in New York that pushed over a seventy-two year old man. At least, yeah. What the, was yeah, what the fuck was that? Like, and then the thing is, the two guys got not fired; they got suspended with pay. And then fifty-seven yep. of their fellow officers have also uh, they've also res- I don't know if it was the resigned or what they did, but they they resigned from the the post okay. that we're doing. They're still working. But they resigned from the, what was it, safety thing that they were doing? It's like, dude, it's like a special task force, or whatever they're on. Yeah. Like, dude, you guys yeah. pushed over an old man and, like, to the point where you knocked him on the back of his head and he was bleeding. Like, out of his ear. Yeah. Like, you're kind of yeah. shitty. Like, at the very least, like, own up to it and just be like, hey, you know what? My colleagues. I would didn't- say you're, you're kind of shitty. You're, you're shitty. Mm. Yeah. There is no kind on that. Oh, oh debatable. Shit. Yeah. You know, you know me, Chad. I like to sugarcoat things. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I've been watching Casey Neinstadt. He's been sort of following the the protests, and he's been showing what like Malibu's been like in Hollywood and all the other stuff. And it, it's been kind of peaceful there. You look at New York, and they're beating the piss out of people. I mean, East versus West here. This is just insane. Well, yeah. I mean, you see some police forces that are like even in fucking Michigan, which isn't that far away. Like you know. For the most part, the protests are peaceful, and like the police forces are like, "Hey, we're with you, people. We understand." Like, you got a lot of these sheriffs that are marching with people, and then it's like like New York and L.A. and some places, just like, "Now nah, we're just gonna beat the fuck out of protests. We don't care. We're gonna tear gas. We're gonna top rubber bullets to you. Fuck you all." Like, whoa, this is like this is unnecessary escalation. Like, it, it's it depends. I mean, like Calgary had yesterday. They had a march of about 2,000 people show up. And the cops were all over the place. No violence, no nothing. There was a peaceful march. I just about didn't make it out of downtown leaving work. But it was it was so peaceful. It was nice. Like I like seeing that kind of stuff. I, I like watching these people that are rioting and stuff. Like, ah oh, guys, come on. It's like you're just getting free shit because you can right now. But that's just my opinion. Anyways, how's everyone doing in this beautiful, sunny, well, wait, shit, it's raining here, uh, day? <laughs> it's nighttime. It here. was beautiful up here today. It was beautiful here What's this too. What's nighttime you think of? Yeah. <laughs> it might not be dark, but it's nighttime. So. What are you talking like, about it's like, like, like last night asking fucking what are these sewers you speak of? You know what these things are, Chad. <laughs> I don't know what a sewer is. 
it's become climatized to the upper uh, Quebec limits there. I, oh, I know I'm what sorry. a big plastic container is that holds my shit. You know That's a not sewer. a sewer. It's a you know what? It's, from what I've heard, I never met, but you used to be married to one. From what I heard, so. Ooh. <laughs> From what I've heard, I never yeah, met yeah. him. <laughs> was was that was the first time you and Nikolai came down? Was I single at that time, or was I still married to her? I think I no, was working he, out again. I was single. You were single, yeah. Yeah, you okay. were working. I remember, I remember making both me and him get on your back so you could do push-ups, to show that you you still got it. Oh my! <laughs> yeah, good times. <laughs> Well then, there's shit that I don't know about here. <laughs> well, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna toss this video onto the different chats we have. This is probably the funniest fucking video I've seen, where a bunch of uh, two white cops arrest a black guy, and the guy's like, "You got the wrong guy. You got the wrong guy." They fucking pull out his ID. He's fucking FBI, and then he just fucking tears them a new asshole. <laughs> <laughs> like it is fucking hilarious. I think I heard about that. I didn't see it though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my my buddy, my buddy Andre in Pittsburgh. He's a big, uh, he's a big guy in the Black Lives Matter movement, and he, he posts all that stuff. And so I've seen it a few times, and it it is a pretty funny video. It's yeah, a sad it video, too. but it's funny, and it's funny in the facial expressions they make as soon as they look at his ID. It's like, oh fuck! <laughs> yeah, you know you're in shit when. <clears throat> well, I like, guess like. You're gonna come down to like, don't feel the need to just fucking arrest every black person now just to prove a point. You really don't need to prove that point. You can maybe prove the opposite point that hey, we're cops, we're good. Like, you know, cops are not only bad people, but it seems the culture around it is not is not great right now. No, it's not. In fact, there's a lot of shit that's going on that's not great at all. And, you know, I've got cops in my family, so I'm actually very pro cop. I actually wanted to become a cop at one point, like. But yeah, some of the shit going on, you just gotta think, what the. Fuck? Well, you know what? My my uncle, who is a tw uh, almost a thirty year veteran of the field, police, he's retired now, and he said the biggest in Canada, the biggest fuck up for the RCMP because you know what? They just do not. They don't get good hires because you don't want to. Uh, you basically don't want to work in the middle of butt fuck nowhere. So when they do get them, they basically get whoever they can get, and they're not properly trained, and they're usually on their own. There's a couple of young guys on their own with backup is the two days away by plane. And shockingly, they fuck up, and they end up hey, instead of just arresting this dude, we're going to be computer with them. And that's the hard part because RCMP used to be really fucking good back in the day. And I'm speaking from this because my uncle was an RCMP officer. Yeah. And I've got friends that are still R RCMP. Really good, great guys, but fuck, there's some out there that are just, well, I mean, you have corrupt cops too. So, I mean, no matter what, you're going to have good cop, bad cop, good RCMP, bad RCMP. Part of it is good cop, bad cop. Another part is you just have people that are too young and inexperienced and giving them too much responsibility. Because guess what? It's like going out to the middle of nowhere to police a native community. That's usually not something somebody in their 40s wants to do with a lot of experience and and maybe like like good common sense. No, it's like, hey, it's fucking 18 year old. Hey, I got nothing else to do. I'm going to go out to the middle of well, fuck nowhere. I'm going to make a hundred G's a year. And here I go. Like, you know what? It, need, it needs to be like, <clears throat> I don't know, like cops need to work like maybe two years on the job or something before they're allowed to have a, a fucking gun on them or something. There just needs to be some, some more regulation is like, look at Britain. No cop Britain over there. Two years. No, like Britain, like the, the guns are like locked up in the fucking cars and shit like that. They have them, but like they, they can't pull them out. For yeah. They can't pull them out unless like it's fucking, it's, escalated to that point you know what i mean like in the states yeah someone fucking runs a red light and they're a black person they're fucking get out of the car fucking blah, 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 like fucking shotguns to their face oh, and yeah. shit. It, it's outrageous man it's straight up disgusting yeah. it is it, anyways even even I here some some canadian cops can like what they were yeah. saying the good and the bad yeah enjoy your food man i am i will talk to you later i've got i've got beautiful beautiful steak going on nice. here so nice. what do you, have, what do you have two steaks and four potatoes 
Uh, because they came in a four pack and I've got potatoes for tomorrow. Oh, all right then. <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's what I'm pop culture vegan. That's that's my ride. There we go. That's not your right, ride. That's a picture of your ride. Well, also, yeah, but that's you're not exactly getting that exact model. same one. Also, I'm getting that model. exact same one. The one that was in the picture is mine. Yes, yes, that's mine. Comes with a certificate of authenticity and everything. It's the one featured on the website. <laughs> Woo! I paid a premium. Were you gonna say there, Greg? Sorry. No, I said I, there. There was really no need for you to math shame Dan over there. Like you know, it's like you don't have enough steaks to match your potatoes. Which I mean, I could, huh. maybe, but maybe I was, I was just curious. Potatoes. Maybe nice yeah. to eat potatoes for one steak. You never know. That's. For for me, that's that's way too much potato. But it's I, I agree with you. unless the potatoes are small, and then sometimes the potatoes are small, you can have two potatoes for one steak. I'll give you that. I oh. actually just had for dinner. I had some more of those female kind of pork loin fucking things there, and uh, and some bunch of hash browns. So mm. sounds. I mean, sounds more like a breakfast food, but that's okay. Yeah. Talking to a boy Chuck, he he was just messaging me. That was boy Chuck messaging. No. Yep, dude. Is he evicting people from their houses? Is he evicting people from their cars? What's what, what's that man up to? <laughs> no, he hasn't evicted them from the house, though. He is very angry with the cartoon. Yeah, I'm angry with the cartoon because the fucking idiot impregnated the commander and was shocked when shit went south. What are you talking about? I'm going to go turn on my light because uh, I want to close this blind. What? what are you talking about, cartoon? He had a kid with a commander, but then I think it wasn't his kid or something. Oh, okay. And now she's got like eight other kids or something, because why not? Sure. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> But, I don't know. Did they still have that house of forlorn boys or whatever? Like, so, what? No, both of owned the house, I and mean, all of Chad's old yeah. friends you may have seen in his videos. Like, I think it was uh, the oh. cartoon, the uh, the right. fuck, I can't remember who that bearded guy was named, the, the weird bearded guy. The weird bearded guy, the honey monster. Yeah, the honey monster. Him, uh, like, like, didn't a whole bunch? Don't a whole bunch of them live in Boychuk's house? Uh, the honey monster, the man child, um, the cantankerous cook, the cartoon. They they all lived in one of Boychuk's houses. Uh, right now, I believe it is just the honey monster and the cartoon living there. Okay. I mean, the the man child, he. He was fairly high up in the military. I, I imagine he's like makes decent money. Yes, he makes decent money. Yeah, I wouldn't imagine he'd have to live under Boychuk's house. He just house. well, he he lived in Boychuk's house because he was a man child, and he drank it all, or smoked it all, or bought like German replica helmets, like uh, the pickle house helmets and stuff, with it, and yeah. I mean, admittedly, that's kind of cool, but still. <laughs> well, I like that you can drive. Yeah, he had a hazmat suit in the trunk while you guys went to the states. Yeah, he had. We were going to the states, and um, we're driving into the U.S. And we get to the border, and before we get up to the window, Ken just stops and he goes, "Fuck!" We go, "What?" He goes, "I have my kit in the in the trunk." <sighs> Yay. Nobody say anything stupid. So get up to the window and they're talking to us and they're like, where are you guys going? And you know, I'm sitting there. It's me, me, Lachlan, so the reverend, the man child and the cantankerous cook. And L Lachlan pipes up in the back seat. We're going to the albino farm. We're taking him home. <laughs> we, were actually going to, we, were, we were going to the albino farm in Alabama. That's where we were actually going. It's a it's a haunted site, and um, that got us pulled over. And then they open the trunk and see the 
see the kit and they're like, well, what's this here for? And Ken's like, I'm uh, I'm military. And they go, well, what's your what's your rank? What's your unit number? What's the, like asking him everything? He goes, I'm not telling you any of that. In the end, we had we had hands up our bums. Nice. Thanks, Ken. You think maybe like a flashlight up the bum would let would let them know if you got anything up there? Do they really need to get all the way up there? Like full body cavity search. Oh wow. Well, I, I hope they buy you dinner afterwards. No, there was no dinner. Oh Jesus. No. I buy I buy prostate can. checked one time and that was enough for me. Like having a whole hand up there, I can't even imagine. Yeah. It was a pretty actually that that Venture Brothers cartoon that uh, uh, Lee watched as well. There's an episode of that where <clears throat> these guys are trying to trying to find uh, get the keys to a boat, and the guy that the guy, big Brock Sampson guy, he's like this big bodybuilder guy, and he just kills everybody. They're called the Swedish Murder Machine, or whatever. And he tells them the keys are in his ass, and they're like, "Really?" And he's like, "We'll find out." So the guy's like all up in there. And he then clenches his ass while the guy's hand is all up in there and swings the guy around with his ass and kills wow. the other guy. <laughs> it's a fucking great scene. Wow. Good stuff. That is, that's quite the story there. Yeah. Oh, somebody just started up their ATV. Ooh. Yeah. There is more ATV in town than anything else. One la one lady posted today on the on the town Facebook page. Somebody stole my Honda. Help me find it. It's green, and I'm like, there's like 185 green Hondas in town. I want something more than it's green. Hmm. They oh. did find it though. They found it after it ran out of gas. Here you go. I found I found it. Uh, check that out. Yeah, excellent scene. Excellent scene. I'll check it out when we go offline. I'm waiting for Boychuk to respond to me too. I asked him how much money I still still owe his mommy. Sure. No. <laughs> Uh, what's pop culture vegan have to say now? Ask clinch rage. Ask yeah, clinch yeah. Rage. I think you meant clench, but yeah, makes yeah, we got it. Yeah, well, I wouldn't want to no. be. Yeah, uh, who's that big guy? The cantankerous cook. I wouldn't want to be sticking my fingers in his butt. Oh, well, they stuck in their whole hand in his butt. How does that even happen? How do you stick your whole hand in somebody's butt? Slowly, lube. Pretty much. Like I like I've I've had the prostate check before and the one finger was more than plenty. Like I don't there was like that was all the real estate there is back there. No, you'd you'd be surprised, man. Like Oh, you got lots you got lots of real yeah. estate back there. It it can stretch out to a surprising size from wow. things that I've heard. Or like even like like I I've, I've never like watching certain pornos with of the bum holes of a of a girl. Some guys have got baby arm sized fucking and they just take it, man. I don't, I don't know. And they seem to they they seem to enjoy it. I don't know. There, there. I the, Paul once shared a video, and I I try not to ever click on any links that Paul posts on Facebook because uh -huh. he posts Reddit links or Imager links or anything like that, and he just posts them. And it's it's like a train wreck. You don't know what you're going into. You just click it and find out. And it was a fucking pineapple coming out of a girl's ass, like a whole pineapple. And I'm like, why, why? But it was, it was full on like a train wreck too. I couldn't like stop looking. Sk skin on. Oh yeah. Or, that, ow. Pineapples are not yeah. known for their smoothness on the outside. No. no yeah. not. It's not exactly like I could see maybe a melon or something. Like, like did, did they start? I, they, they couldn't have started with the fucking like top. They must have, like turned it upside down. And then, oh yeah, it was upside down. The 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 leaves were the first thing to come out. Nice. 
That that would that would actually be terrifying. That would look like some kind of fucking kraken it, beast it coming out of her. It field. was pretty terrifying. <laughs> it was extremely terrifying. Oh, and then oh. I, I, the first thing I said is, "Why do I click on your links?" And he said, "Because you enjoy them." <laughs> no, no, I don't. Morbid curiosity, Maybe. man. Morbid curiosity. Well, it is. You never know what you're going to get. And sometimes it's, it's like no. It's like I, feel, I feel, I feel like with, I feel like with Paul, you generally kind of know what you're getting into. It's probably not going to be great. Unless he's talking like unless unless he's doing a painting live stream or something, which he hasn't done in a long time. Those were always always pretty family friendly. As, no, as, close, as, as, as close to family friendly as Paul could get, kind of thing. I different just, Paul. This is the cantankerous book. Oh, well, all right. Then. I really wish that he would finally release Joe's body to his family. Like, stop wearing Joe like a puppet. Next is Canada Dry. Just to get some of that taste out of my mouth. Is that Canada Dry Club Soda or something? Yeah. Didn't look sure. like ginger ale. Really? Oh, that's oh, that is absolutely nasty. Tonic You're water club nasty. soda. I can't. I can't do them. I remember it was years ago. Me and my cousin were staying with his grandma, like his grandma on his other side, kind of thing. Like I knew her, but she wasn't my actual grandma, and she was babysitting us for some reason for a few hours. And she asked if I'd like a pop. I'm like, hell yes, I'd like a pop. Thank you. And like, she gave me a can of club soda, and I've never had club soda before. I'm like, it says soda. I took a big swig of it and nearly vomited all over the place. It was, it's, it's got such just a nasty. I can, I can imagine using it for mixing a drink and adding a bunch of well, what, grenadine what or some lemon pop? juice or something to it. This is, this is soda water. That's what this is. It's fucking soda water. Yeah. Who says, hey, you want a pop? Here you go. It's soda motherfucking water. My cousin's grandma, who I guess for a, a grandmother, someone who's like 80 years old, they might consider something that is carbonated, regardless of what it is to be pop. I don't know. She said pop. I was like, yeah, sure. And it's like, you ever had that, Um, it's called Brio or something like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was working at Toyota and the uh, owner there one day, oh, you want to pop? Yeah, sure. And almost the same kind of thing. He's like, I'm like, what is this? He's like, Oh, it's like root beer. Okay, cool. Take a big swig. And it, it was, I can't even remember what it was like, but I did not like it at all. Here are some results from the web. That just, okay. How did that happen? Apparently I just, so, okay. So I, you're, you're I just, okay. Googled. And I did it again. That was funny. Sorry, go ahead. So your, your, your boss was, uh, was Italian. Was he? Yes, actually he was. That's why He's he a, had Brio. He's Italian, and his wife is from um, one of the Central American countries that I can't think of the name of. Is El Salvador in middle in Central America? If if it is, that might be so. it. Regardless, I know they're they are they've got so much money that like uh, the one one of the roads here in North Bay that's like on the waterfront is set up kind of weird. Like the road goes and then. There's two houses deep on the road, so every driveway is kind of shared. Like the, you can go to the driveway, go to the first house, or the, then there's the one that's actually on the water, kind of thing. And the owner of Toyota had the house that's on the water, and bought the house that was on the roadside, just so he could tear it down and have a great big lawn. So, yeah, money. So much money. Here's a sweet sweet Maserati that I never got to drink. I was going in today to buy my beer, and there was somebody there with five garbage bags full of cans to return for their five cents a can. <laughs> then apparently they bought some beer with that money. There we go. I've got about 50 bucks worth of returns. You only get five cents a can? Yes, sir. That's horrible. Yes, my beautiful wife. Oh, what? That's a weird way to refer to Redbeard. Huh? You want to come say hi to Greg and Carrie while I take a pee? What was that, Greg? You don't want to say hi to Greg and Carrie. Okay. I said it was weird for Chad to refer to you as his beautiful wife. Oh, yeah. I mean, you do have a pretty mouth and all, but still. Excuse me? 
I said Carrie has a pretty mouth. Did you know? And that's why you called him your beautiful wife. I called my wife my beautiful wife. Well, again, that's Carrie. You know what? No. We're totally married. Listen, Chad, there's nothing wrong. We accept you for oh, who look. you Pop Culture Vegan confirmed El Salvador is in Central America. So I think that that's where she was from. And then, yeah, that's why I just, yeah, 10 cents a can is what we get here. It's a lot better than five. Oh, the beer store. Well, well, they, well, yeah, gen generally, beer is cheaper in Quebec than it is here, so it kind of works out. But where Chad is, it does not work out that way at all. No, well, Chad just gets scraped by beer prices. Chad, you need to ship all your cans back to Ontario. Get your 10 cents back. And there you go. It'd be like that episode of Seinfeld where they're fucking bringing all the cans across the border to get their fucking refund in the mail truck. Chad, we understand you have a light that works that opens and closes. You've made your point. That's pretty cool. But... There have been iterations of the same thing for years and years now. This is nothing new. Okay, it now why, why now it sounds like why things are dying. Can you close the door, please? Yes, bye. Bye. He's trying because he's on the couch and nobody gave him popcorn. Yeah, that's a good reason for it. Well, that is the nine-week-old puppy. Yeah, that is a annoying-sounding dog. Dang it, so is <laughs> Yeah, coming from you, Mr. Arnold, trying to rip my face off and broke my painting. And Yep. No, Has Arnold, Agnes not noticed that yet? Listen, we, we, I love Arnold, but he's a dick. He really is a dick. It's like my cat, Gandalf. Gandalf was fucking losing his mind tonight. Like I, I, He'll usually like do like a little bit of a runny type thing, and that's it. But tonight, for a good like half an hour, he was just bouncing off things and fucking jumping on the cat and the dog. And, just losing his mind, and now, now look at that. If I turn my camera, yeah, now he's being all cute and adorable, sleeping on the chair. Pop culture vegan. That is Carrie. We call him Redbeard for obvious reasons. Oh, yeah. Cheers. At some point, he's going to be Graybeard. Yeah. If uh, Chad almost got it right there, if you put a B in front of the ears, yeah, I'm ready. I'm red eared. Yar. Yeah, uh, not really. Yar. Yar. Yeah. I got to pee. I don't want to go out there, though. If I go out there, somebody's going to try and get me to take one of the dogs back in here. Rough life you did up there. I know. I know. Well, fucking Nanook, he gets so jealous of the puppy sleeping with us. That today when he came in to join me in the bed, he was like, the puppy's in the bed? I'm laying on your face. <laughs> Excuse me, motherfucker. Get your 65-pound motherfucking five-month-old dog ass off my face. That was a nice bum stamp. Well, oh, Chad, I've, I've told people on the other chat that I'm sure you probably haven't seen, but Arnold's got a massive problem because Arnold's not a very tall dog. But you know what? He Got a pretty good size wiener for his size, so when he pees, it often drags on the ground, and he ends up getting shit on his wiener. And then he comes in the house and, and dick stamps everything. So that's his thing: is he just like like this this pillow? I mean, I'm sure I can show you that to clean. Uh, but there's usually dick stamp. See, there, there's a nice dick stamp stain, right? That's a dick stamp right there. That's You're sure that's not your dick? No, it's not for my dick. I haven't pulled my dick out on this couch anytime recently, so uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't be that big of a stamp if it was Greg's dick. Oh, there we go. See, because I have a tiny penis, according to Carrie. <laughs> Them Polish sausages are really small. Well, but you know, well, we're still pretty tasty and got lots of juice in us. Okay. <laughs> We got another soda water. Yeah, that's uh, gross. Why don't you mix some of your Ooh, fucking le weird lemon shit with it? Doesn't that make it at least palatable? I have been, but look, I only have a little bit of lemon left, so I need to save that for my next beer. Oh, yeah. 
Wait, again, that, again, man, rough life, rough life right is now. Is that lemon juice shit? Like, is that hard to get as well? Well, it's like six bucks a thing, so it's it's expensive. Oh, geez. again, I I feel like that that's like I was saying last night. I don't think that's super expensive compared to what it is here, compared to like the beer prices and stuff. Yeah, I think like lemon juice is like what three or four bucks, like a container. I don't I don't know. Really crazy, that, but. Yeah, we talked about the subsidies and all the other things last night, the staples and the yeah. Blah, 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 blah. yeah, there is like yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, so like things that things that have subsidies, eggs, milk, coffee, meat, vegetables, um uh cereal, the baking ingredients, nothing, nothing frozen, nothing. Nothing no, like juices also have a subsidy, but not like pop. No pop. No no frozen. No um. No froyo. No froyo. No. Yeah. Um, cherries. Cherries are actually cheaper up here than they are down south for the most part. Sure. I'm, I'm, I'm always on the hunt for a big bulk cherry deal. Yeah, yeah. Come on up here and get a nice bulk cherry deal. That wasn't a sexual request. I meant that I don't need to. Sure, it wasn't. I don't know. I think you want to see me pee in a can, and that ain't happening a lot. No, I'm. Yeah. I think we all want to see you pee in a can. Well, you just want to see if I have aim enough to get it in there. I don't think I could. I think about me trying to pee in that little fucking hole would be. Me peeing well, everywhere. You, you, just, you just very carefully did get put the tip put the tip into that little hole and then give her. My tip doesn't fit into that hole. You'd be surprised. They're that's they're very elastic unless you know the, Jesus, but yeah, you'll cut you'll cut the fuck out of yourself though. Why I said be careful. Yeah. Carefully. No, there's no careful. There's no way my tip fits in that. You'd be surprised, man. You ever see an octopus go through one like they yeah, stretchy. I don't think your penis is like an octopus. No, your penis isn't like an octopus. You'd be surprised. <clears throat> you don't have like multiple suckers and stuff on them with a beak. I, like, I might not have like a 12 inch penis, but it is way too thick to fit in there. So he's saying it's a 12 inch thick penis. He's saying it's very fat. Chad's got a very fat dick. I do. Chad's hog is two, in, two inches long, twelve inches wide. There you go. It looks like they, it's, just, it's just like the fucking stump of a redwood. No wonder, no wonder his wife. There, there, there was there was a porn star called Torpedo Joe that was like that. Yeah, this just giant fucking fat dick that was short. I gotta look that up now. <laughs> this is up Torpedo Joe. Torpedo Joe. Pretty Probably funny name. Fire. What oh, there's a video game called that. Okay, so I'd be more specific. Torpedo is, Joe. Is the, maybe the game is based on his life. <laughs> Joe porn star porn vids. Excuse me. I apologize for that. What do we got here from pop culture, vegan? You Jeez, have to use a stick to jam it in before. There is a porn star called Average Joe. That's I'm hilarious. Really? You have to use a stick to jam it in before you pee. Um, I don't know what type of penises you guys have, but that ain't happening. Okay, so be a good time. Torpedo Joe. How many viewers do we? It's getting all Asian women. So that's weird. Uh, how many viewers do we have right now? There, Carrie. Trois. Pardon? Three. Trois. With uh, I, I'm, one I'm, of them? I probably am. I'm not sure. If Are you one, Greg? Yeah, I think I am. Because I was looking up the comments. Yeah, super popular. Popular. Okay, I'm going to go take a pee, and against my be better judgment, Greg's in charge. Oh shit! Oh, all right then.
Take your well, shirt. Uh, you know, Carrie, it's the first time first time I've ever given them that this. Oh God. Oh God, I gotta go. Oh, that's pretty funny. This is where we go with this. Apparently. It's way too easy to envision really big boobs on you right now. I know that's why I try and keep it. Uh, I'm trying to hide my nipples. I don't want you to see the nipples. Nice. Ah! Oh, oh God! Go. I saw it. I saw oh, it. Oh God! I was exposed. I saw it. Look at the crooked painting. There we go. This is more politically correct. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, I think I need another beer. Um, I think I'm just about here. I also kind of want another piece of pizza. Oh. I, heard, um, I heard a barbecue sauce and chicken pizza today. It was okay, except they fucking gave me like no chicken on it. So fuck them. From where? Domino's. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's our usual go-to. We don't have any really good like small pizza places around here, so. There's actually a couple, like uh, arugula, they do the wood-fired stove thing. And then uh, randomly, Twig's Coffee makes a really good pizza as well. It's like a coffee place, but they also do like sandwiches and stuff, and they make pizza, and it's really good pizza. Hmm. And it's super, super cheap, like a pizza, like, I don't know, probably at least 12 inches fucking across is like ten fifty for a pepperoni. Yeah. And actually, we have Greco's too, which is really good. And Do I never really tried it, I don't think, even, but it's a place that is here called Dr. Pizza. So, yeah. I'm even sure you can still hear me. Mm hmm. Okay. I can. I'm going to have a pizza sandwich because why not? Nice. Okay. I feel like if you, but there's got to be a few solid local kind of pizza places within. A few blocks of you kind of thing. You probably just haven't found them. I don't know. We've tried most of the local pizza places, and oh, yeah? we weren't particularly impressed, to be honest. Oh, okay. Fair enough. You'd think there'd be at least one or two. Crazy. There's a few. We just didn't like them all that much. Hmm. Huh. Like there's a place... Um, Basically, just so walking across the street from us, I think it's called like Wise Guys Pizza or something. And they say, oh, wood fire and all that stuff. And we tried it and we we're like, man, something just tastes off about it. Like the dough is a, has a really weird flavor to it. Weird. So. Weird. You know, like I think to me, in terms of the big pizza, pizza franchises, okay, relax, you'll get some crust. Fuck, man. Jesus. To me, in terms of the big pizza places, to me, Domino's is my favorite. But, um, yeah, I mean, I know there's definitely better pizza out there, but, yeah. This thing also cost me eight bucks of pizza, so, and we, you know, like, it's pretty cheap. Actually, this may not be the best pizza, but their, uh, their deep dish is quite good, and their, um, their Brooklyn style pepperoni is quite good. Cool. Sorry, guys. Cool. I was talking to my stepdaughter. She wants me to watch Mall Rats with her tonight. Oh. That's exciting. Here, eat this, you mongoloid. Nine hour fuck. What, what, what about a nine hour fuck? What did I miss? My I'm favorite sure. pizza was from a uh, a brewery in in Winnipeg, actually. The the uh, Manitoulin Pizza Company that runs out of uh, Full Beard and Timmins actually makes a fucking amazing pizza. They use the spent grain in the uh, dough, and it's fucking astonishing. Oh, that 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 would probably be astonishing. Okay, I'm gonna have another beer. I'm gonna have a Molson drop. It's pretty exciting. I thought so. Did you though? Did you really? 
I tried to think so. I'm gonna uh, add. Some, I'm gonna add the last of my lemon juice to it too. I'm going to grab another beer myself as well. Oh yay! Oh, yay. And the red lemon juice. Well, now you have to use your pee because it's lemon juice infused because you've drank so much of it. Mm. You'll, be to, you'll be able to reuse it at least a couple times. I I change my, I, 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 the device and then it recycles. I finally uh, changed over my winter tires today and didn't give my car an oil change. I thought oh, I'd it up there. I need new oh. fucking back tires. Like new summer back tires, pretty badly. They're basically racing slicks on the back. But yeah, you may have to borrow a beer from your roomies. Hopefully, your roomies have better beer than what I have. Here. They're beyond rotating at this point. Like the the front ones are still pretty good, and the front is where you need the traction, like especially when it's nice out and stuff. But yeah, it's a. Uh, well, no, the, the reason I ask is that typically in front wheel drive cars, the, the front wheel wear out faster than the rear wheel. So that's yeah, well, again, I, again, like I, I, from when I first got the car, I should have been rotating them, but I just basically left the tires as they were for like four years. And then last, last year when I did the whole brake job, finally, before I went down there, I rotated the tires so the shittier ones were on the back, the good ones were on the front for the trip down with Nick. And that's kind of how they need to like one of my plan is now to get a pair of nice newer ones, new ones to put on to replace the back tires, which I will then put onto the front and put the front ones currently on the back. And then the, like, there's still enough on the front ones. I can probably rotate them a couple times, but yeah. Well, yeah, my, my, my winter tires are now good for at least a couple seasons, which is awesome. The, the funny thing about tires is they actually recommend in, in a situation like yours, if you're getting the new tires, to put them on the back. The, the reason be, well, the reason being is that traction is a funny thing where for your car, if you're going in a straight line and it's bad weather, yes, you want the traction in the front. If you're taking a turn, you want the traction in the back because the back is the far part that's going to go whoosh. Well, yeah. Spin you around, so yeah. I actually recommend for safety you put them on the back. I mean, I, 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 yeah, well, like, like I said, though, the new tires will go on the front, the tires that are on the front right now will go on the back, and they're still fine. And they're still get, the, the ones on the back right now are like racing slick, so I want to put the ones on the front right now that are okay on the back and put the brand new ones on the front, so I'll, I'll be good all the way around. I totally hear what you're saying. I have, a, I have a leaking back tire in my Camaro because I have a puncture in it, but the puncture makes, makes it so it only leaks like a pound every day or so. So, and then they're also run flat tires, so you can like they don't really change their shape much when they. When yeah, they the, get the, the sidewalls of those are really, really thick and strong. But uh, you should be able to just like go somewhere and get it plugged, can't you? I can't. It's uh, it's in a place where where I, I've taken to a few tire shops. They can't plug it. Um, but I'm just running it for now. I just, I have to like once every week, just throw a little air into it. And, uh, what did, did, does your car have a full size spare or a donut? It has zero spares in it. Really? When they give you run flat tires, it's cause they don't want to give you a spare tire. So there's no spare tire. No. I guess that kind of makes sense, but it would still be nice to have a spare in case something yeah. happened, but that's, 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 that sucks. And what, what's, what's a new, uh, like, can you just buy one tire, or do you need to buy at least two with the way the wear is? I, I, would, I would need to buy two, because the, 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 these tires at this point are probably about 60% done their life, maybe even a little more than that. And what's, so, the, what's the cost on two new tires-ish? I mean, at least a 1000 bucks. Seriously? Yeah, for, like, you either go cheaper and get some all seasons or something, but if I want to get, like, some reasonably good summer tires, probably run flats, or even if I don't want to go run flats, yeah, it's probably looking yeah, at I guess, like, at least for, for me, bucks a tire minimum. For me, depending, like, you can find tires on sale, like, a tire tire for my car, I could probably get for, like, 100 bucks if I find on sale. Aver average price I'd probably pay is about 150 but I'm thinking, like, your car is, the, the, the tire is going to be a higher speed rating than mine, probably. Also the, also the run flatness of it, and I think it's probably 
Like, what's the size of your rims? 18, 20. 19, 20? 20, 20, so that's a bigger. So, yeah, yeah. I can see that I, I can see that being about 500 bucks after tax. Yeah, no, yeah that makes they're, sense. They're fucking expensive. Uh, I know I said, I said for the Veyron is 20,000 pounds, according to that episode of Top Gear a long uh, time ago. So. Listen, if you got Veyron money, you can afford new tires for it. But um, the, the thing that's funny about what you just said is a lot of people buy high end cars and don't want to pay the price for the things like an oil change on a high end car. Like some of uh, some of Mantos's oil changes are up to five grand in oil change. And they I remember you telling me, uh, is that is that your guy that works on high end cars or some shit like that? I remember you had a, a tell me a story when I was there with you about and him. You work on uh, doing a brake job on a Porsche or something like that it was like ten grand. Yeah. It's like yeah. Yeah, like yeah, it, it, if it's the ceramic breaks easy, yeah. That's why I laughed at like when Chris was uh, talking about getting that Porsche box or whatever. It's like that they're every video I've ever seen about Porsche is like, yeah, they're awesome cars when you buy them brand new and stuff, but once stuff starts to go wrong, that's that shit is fucking expensive, well, man. The the manager at the casino that we had at one point, and Chris would have known this manager, Rick Farkas. Uh he was he was also the owner of one of the bars I was a manager at and a bouncer at, and he wanted to buy a Porsche. And he called up Boychuk to go and look at the Porsche. And he's like, um, you know, uh, I, I can get it for like next to nothing. All it has is some electro electrical problems. And Boychuk laughed at him. He goes, "What?" He goes, "Well, that electrical problem will cost you about ten grand for me to find." Nice. He goes, and then once I once I find it, then we have to repair it. So you're looking at buying this Porsche for that cost, and then me paying this much for it. He goes, now when when you do your oil changes, it's this many, this this much. When you do a brake job, it's this much. And he's just laying everything out for me. He goes, yeah. really? He goes, yeah, brand new. That was a, a seventy five thousand dollar car. Guess what? Stuff costs money on it. <clears throat> when I got my eighty five Volkswagen Cabriolet when it was getting safety, I guess something happened with the wiring, and the guy had to like rewire the entire car. The safety well, still, all told, came out to like three hundred dollars because that car was like so basic to wire. Well, the thing people no. don't, don't realize is that you a car a car costs something brand new, then it depreciates, depreciates, depreciates until it's much cheaper. People also don't realize car parts do not depreciate. Car labor does not depreciate. So hmm? you. Yeah. you Spend a hundred grand on a used Ferrari or something, and spend a hundred grand just to fix it. Oh, easily. But again, like we were saying, that some sometimes depending on the car and how lucky you are, the depre depreciation might actually become appreciation. Like some of those crazy old rare cars now that are worth it, it, insane. It does, but, but it also comes down to you almost have to like buy the car, not drive it, and just basically actually. In the garage. Yes, yesterday, walking Oreo on my way back down my street, I walking down, I look over. There was the most mint K car, like 1985 yeah. Dodge, I think Dodge Aries or something like that. Maybe Dodge something. And just like fucking this like horrible kind of baby poo brown color. The interior, I got up close, looked at it. Interior also just the worst brown ever, but like not a speck of rust anywhere. It had like the, the cheap like uh, luggage rack kind of thing on the back, on the, on the uh, trunk of it and stuff. And just... The fancy uh, smoker fucking flares on the windows, and just it was, it was a really impressive thing. Actually, I think I took a picture of it. Did I? I should have. Yeah, that's, that, that's literally the first car I can remember my mom owning was a K car. I don't. I might, I might not have taken a picture. So you guys see see the comment from Pop Culture Vegan? Well, I have actually I have went out and bought brand new tires for a 2010. Uh, 2010 Kia uh, Kia Forte, sorry, and a 2014 Kia Sedona. Uh, I don't drive, and I bought full sets of tires for both of those. Uh, we ended up getting rid of our Sedona before um, before we had to. When we bought our Sedona, though, they had like blue and gray available, and Alicia was like, "No, gray is the color of your ex-wife's Sedona. We're not getting the same color as her. Wow. We're getting blue." Now, I'm actually a little confused by the comment. Maybe you can clarify, Vegan. Um, you say you've never bought, so you've just never bought a set in four at once, or you just always buy new cars and you just never have to worry about tires? And if you just lose your car all the time, then you don't have to worry about tires. 
Um, myself personally, I usually have a rear wheel drive car, so I typically will have to replace the rear twice. I guess replace them once, and then the second go around, then I'll replace that four tire. So that's where I'm at. It, my rears are probably gonna be in the summer. I have not I have a second set of rears. I actually bought a really cheap pair, a used pair from Mercedes, but they fit my car. And I'll throw those on for another summer, and then I'll probably end up replacing all four tires. And I'm, I want to get something like high end, like Michelin Pilot Sport, but that's going to cost me like for the four tires, going to cost me about twenty five hundred bucks. But uh, they're really good tires, so why not? So tires make a huge difference. That's the thing is like you could have like a you could have a fucking car with a horsepower, but if you can't put the power down. It doesn't fucking matter. Some dude in a modified Civic will beat you. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not mistaken. Tires are a big deal. Like I remember watching, uh, like going back to Top Gear again, and like certain cars, certain cars being like shown to do these lap records and stuff, and then they put a different set of tires on them, and it can't do that same speed anymore. Like, it's not as fast with these different tires. Like some tires are designed really, really well. The whole end of the, you, you look at you look at some tires and you're just like you know just lines and fucking patterns and like they, you think they just do all that at random but no there's there's actually a bunch of engineering behind it that you just don't think about no you know what tire technology is incredible but the thing that just makes you cry about tires you can get the most expensive nice, nicest tire in the world it's got everything it puts down the power it does everything it puts the money you're so excited you don't fucking nail the punctures and you're like yuck. I feel like like I'm not gonna say ninety, but like seventy five percent of the time or so, they're usually able to plug them. Like you, 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 you usually, but they're getting more and more specific about like you know, it's like if it's on the twenty percent side of each edge, they won't plug it. Like I, I tried to get mine mine plugged, and I had two tire shops tell me we don't want to do it. Chevrolet told me we'll do it, so I said okay, go ahead do it. And then they actually went and looked at the tire closer, like no, nah, we don't feel we can do it. All right? Well, I'm like you could it. like you could get a plug kit and do it yourself it's it's it really is fucking easy it's like this fucking you go to canadian tire or whatever at maybe like 10 bucks you put this thing on a thing you go blah and you pull it back out and your tire's plugged uh the problem with tires like mine is that they're very difficult to plug like that because they're they're so strong you physically can't push the thing through because there's they're very hard rubber yeah i guess and, maybe shit. like i've never i've never tried to do it to be fair but uh, I, I had to my, yeah, at, my at the same beard. time. How would they have done it if it wasn't a place it could be plugged at the tire shop? Did they just uh, use the, like at the tire shop and uh, the Chevy dealer? You're saying like they would do it if it wasn't in that place. How would they? How would they plug it if not just basically the same thing? Well, okay. There's different kinds of plug. So okay, we might not be using the right terminology here. So there's the. The right way of fixing a tire, which is you take the tire off, you plug it from the back, and it's sort of like it look, basically looks like a big butt plug, where you it goes into the thing from the inside, and then there's a like a big loop on the outside that basically prevents it from going through. That's the right way to do it, and they can't do that successfully because if it's too close to the edge, it'll just literally get right sucked right out the tire. Now, what you can do with the Canadian Tire kits is you got those kits with the big sticky. Yeah, and you throw those in. Those aren't really safe to use, especially in high performance cars, because they're known to fail. Oh. So, oh, I know. You know, you, you could you I could try know. one of those like fucking cans of goo that you fucking put in. I actually had that work on my uh, my mom's uh, snowblower. You know what? I grabbed a whole bunch of crazy glue and threw it on to see if it would work, and it worked for like two days, <laughs> and then it fell off. So, you know, well, I, I, get, I, I get, if you were able to get the crazy glue, if you were, get like a a needle and get able to get in the hole with that and like put the crazy glue on the inside. Maybe, now, maybe then it might do it. The, the problem with so crazy this is what you heard. Screaming. Hey, little puppy dog. Yeah. That creature makes terrifying sounds. That creature does make terrifying sounds. I agree. But, you know, here's the thing. I don't care right now. It's a mild inconvenience. I have to fill up the thing, the tire with air every now and then. And I've got two extra tires waiting that will go on there when these die. And then I'll keep running those. And eventually when my fronts go, I'll replace all four. So it's all part of the car.
Exactly. That's what Brian uh, Smith is saying, and he's right. It's a touch, uh, like somebody we use the wrong terminology, but yeah, patch and plug are different. The problem with it, oh. you use the plug that essentially looks like a big butt plug, and it goes from the inside. But yeah, if it's not in a place where they can do it properly, it'll <laughs> not on the bed. fire up with air. It'll get sucked right out. That's why. That's why a lot of shops they won't even bother. Like, I even have to have, like, can you try to fix it? And if it doesn't work, I've got an extra set of tires. Just throw them on. It's like, ah, oh, no, we're not even real willing to risk it because. I'm gonna love you and you're great. God, it sounds like that's like so creepy. Like guys talking in the darkness. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, Alicia is currently having a battle. In the nook because he's allowed it to his bone in the bedroom, just not in the bed. But he keeps jumping up in the bed with the bone in his mouth, so she keeps throwing it down onto the dog bed. So they're they're having a battle of wills right now. You can't like tell the dog fucking no. Like I, I feel like I feel like it's you don't you don't you don't have a battle of wills with your dog. You fucking well you're the, that that's the battle of wills is she throws it on the floor and says not in the bed. He jumps down on the floor, picks it up, and jumps back up on the bed. Well, then take it away from him or something for now. Show him. Discipline. Smack him in the ass. All I'm hearing is that your wife is having a battle with your dog's bone. And failing. Yeah. She's losing to the bone. CAA. Yeah, CAA has never done anything good for me, but... Uh... They did. They did save me a little bit of money once when uh, when my ex wife was dumb and locked her keys in the car. It is a decent like depending depending on the kind of car. Like when I used to have my Volkswagen, I had a service because it <laughs> broke down frequently enough that it was like I'm not fucking paying a tow truck every time. That's so expensive. But yeah, so CAA, you can get a package with them for a yearly package for like a hundred bucks or something, and you get free towing. It's I'd say that's worth it. Uh, well, it's free towing within a certain distance, and then they charge you. But you know, a CA is a good value. It's, it's worth getting. Yeah. For what it costs. Um, the nice thing about is, mode. if you if you don't want to pay for the membership, just in case, you can always keep your membership card or whatever. And then you call them. They're like, "Well, your membership's not up to date." It's like, "Yeah, sure, I'll just subscribe to a membership now. Come tow my car." <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. I always forget to renew it, and then it's like something happens. I'm like. Yeah, hi. I, I need to renew my membership. Like, I need to yeah. use my me- renew my membership and use it right now. <laughs> yeah, here's, my, here's my credit card number. That's hilarious. Because like a lot, a lot of things like that you'd want to do that with, you wouldn't. You're not allowed to. Like pre-existing conditions for some like health insurance and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like you, you can't if like no, you're like oh your car's already broke down. Come on, yeah, we'll do it right now. That's kind of awesome. Here's a fun tip about uh, CAA. Don't ever tell them that you're involved in anything that involves the police. Because I once got pulled over for uh, for doing an illegal left turn. And when I pulled over, my battery died. So the fucking cop gives me a ticket and then my car died. I'm like, hey, can you give me a boost? Like, uh, no, we can't do that. Well, fuck you, police. We're all fucking the police right now, right? So anyway, so I call CAA. I'm like, yeah, I got pulled over by the cop. And then my car died on the side of the road. Can you come, like, boost my car? And they're like... Sir, is this involved with a police incident? Because if it's a police incident, we cannot we cannot do anything to help you. I'm like, no, I just pulled over because the cop wanted to give me directions. So no, it's fine. You can come boost me. Nice. <laughs> it's like literally, the lady just wants me to say that I'm not. I wasn't doing anything illegal. It's like, what the fuck do you care? You're a private organization. Like, what what difference does it make? But so anyway, yeah, fucking. Like, 45 minutes later, they came and boosted me. But, uh, and then I had to go get the battery replaced because it was a fucking faulty battery from Subaru. But, um, yeah. Um, to answer your your question there, Pop Culture Vegan, no, uh, Gizmo is Chewbacca's brother. He's from the same litter. Chewbacca was poisoned and killed by rat poison uh, a week and a half ago. And we're certainly hoping that the culprit will be found and brutally murdered, not just regular murdered. Brutally murdered, skinned alive, and buried in a nice place. No worries. Body won't be found anytime soon. No, we, 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 were, we weren't intending. Yeah, we weren't. We weren't intending to get another dog anytime soon. But uh, the loss of Chewbacca was very hard on Nanook to the point where Nanook wasn't eating anymore. He was throwing up all the time. Uh, like 
white white foaminess. Uh, he was he was doing the stress puking, stress puking, and not eating. And within within twenty minutes of Gizmo being in the house, Nook was back to being the Nook, which is the annoying King Shepherd slash Husky he is. You stop making husky noises. Stop making husky noises. No more husky noises. No. No. Rawr, rawr, you say. Rawr. Good night, honey. Yeah, so, yeah, Gizmo, Gizmo is, uh, is Chewbacca's brother. Good night. Uh, maybe. Yeah, that's uh. Did she just take the milk with her? No, she didn't. Okay. What do you mean, uh, oh, Harlow Silvic? <laughs> oh, stop making, stop making husky noises. No one wants to hear husky noises. No, not wrong. We thought, we thought Arnold was was annoying this at the beginning of this stream. Husky noises are worse. Yeah, now our now Arnold is passed out. There, let's, let's, let's yeah, the, hu the husky is not. Let's get an Arnold update. There he is. He's passed out. Where's Agnes? She was uh, giving resume advice to a friend of hers, and now she's out. Hi. Hi. Good. I'm good. Did you enjoy talking with your boyfriend? I did. Oh, good. You just talk to oh, Chad. Right. Yeah, Chad will love you long time, except he'll put he'll impregnate you like eighteen times. Just what? By what? Nothing. Just how you put it. Nice. <clears throat> Arnold was redecorating. Oh my God, Chad! <laughs> That's seriously just fucking raping my ears right now. It's gonna fall on my head. God. Here, Gizmo. Come here. Now, babe, to be fair, we were thinking about fixing it, and then we thought it looked better that way. No. Do you want to know what actually happened? Yes. <laughs> Arnold did that. <laughs> no, it, it was Arnold. It, it, it was not Greg. It was Arnold. Yeah, I may have been trying to suplex him, though, so it may have been partially my fault. But <laughs> You can't tell. Ugh. Ugh. This is why I drink. This is why you drink? You have to Being married to you, yeah, I would probably drink. Classy. Also, my butt hurts from sitting. Your butt okay. hurts from sitting. Okay. Well, That's Chad, not why you're a butt hurt around me. Full hand up his butt cavity search. So can you compare that? Um, not quite the same area as butt. <laughs> Is there different areas of butt? There's my there's the, the butt bone, the butt cheeks, and the, the butt. The butthole. Mm -hmm. The butthole where, where, where the hand. Yeah. You think, do you think somebody could fit a whole hand into your butt? I'm not answering that question. Okay. She the answer is yeah. Yeah, there's no question. It, it can happen. It's just the way that human bums work. Uh, apparently, your your butt your butt is so elastic a whole hand can fit up there. I'm. I'm not even. I'm not gonna say like uh, like like she might Sha Shaq's hands might present an issue. I'm not even entertaining yeah. this discussion. <laughs> well, you don't want to. Hi, Agnes. Very, uh, educational, very uh, sophisticated conversation, and now we're talking about butts. Well, it, it, uh, it, this it, is yeah, a very you never know. Like this is like right now. Like Google, like what is the maximum stretch of the human is? <laughs> Christ. Cool. Uh, an average. <laughs> I remember. I remember hearing this fact. It's great. The average human anus can stretch up to twelve centimeters. Wow! And the average raccoon can squeeze into a space that is 10 centimeters wide. Wow. <laughs> so, <laughs> the, the, the average human ass could basically take a raccoon. Wow. So just so you know, Agnes is with a very, very educational conversation. That's exactly uh, what I'm saying. 
Maybe a traditional, We're learning. but mm, yeah, yeah. But a bit gross. Yeah. Uh, depends on what you like. Good boy, Gizmo. Good boy. Did you finish the rest of those chips, or did you? Yes, I did. I did. Why? They were good. I have no. I have a potato. I could cut up and make chips. Actually, we have potatoes too, babe. Yes, we do have potatoes. Oh, you got chips. We got some pizza left over too, if you want to eat that. I love you, Alicia. I love you too, Alicia. Alicia, don't kill the dog. Yeah, don't kill the dog, because then I won't love you anymore. So that would be kind of rude. Yeah, that's the only reason. In front of your friend. I'm not cutting my nails. <laughs> I was cutting my neck. <laughs> oh, that was, uh, I had a hangnail. So, Nick, hi, hi, arm of Agnes. It's not hi. a, it's not a hangnail. Oh, 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 there you are. Hi, Arnold. Listen, we gotta release Arnold. No. What you, what you drinking, Agnes? Steam vessel. Oh. Oh, you know what? I'm so, I'm so hard up up here that I miss steam vessel. They they've got like they make like five different beers now, man. It's fucking insane. Really? Yeah. They got they got like a pale ale and a fucking lager, I think, and something else, and probably something else. Greg, Greg, Greg can tell you when he goes back. What? Yeah, man. So they have a pale ale. They have an amber, which isn't technically their beer, but it's they brewed by them. No, that's fat tire amber. No. Yeah, they have a a session lager, which is really just a lager, and they have a shanty. Or Shandy, whatever the fuck. I'm actually really jealous of that they have all that now. Um, you know what? Carrie, you're in charge. I got to pee again. Oh. One more beer and then I'm going to bed. And Carrie, in my you take your shirts off. You're welcome to. I'm, I'm good, though. No. My, 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 my air conditioning has got this. Oh, there was. Arnold's tail just moved in a weird way that I almost thought he should like, spray you with shit or something. Oh, that's his wiggle. <laughs> oh, he's cute. He's fucking cute. Hi, Arnold. He's so much bigger than he was when I met him. I want to meet him again. Uh -huh. I want to play with your doggy. No. I can't give him a rice crisper with ketchup. A rice crispy? A crispy mini ketchup. Ooh. Why not? Because it's not good for dogs, is it? Or should I give him one? Yeah, I, it's I don't like know. A, it's a low fat snack. I, like I know. Ooh, don't give him. Guy, he'll be fine. There are some things that are like really bad, like really bad for dogs, and like anything else, some things are bad for them, just like it's bad for us, like just not healthy. But yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure one of those, if he if he likes it, like he'd be fine. I don't okay. think he likes it. If anything, it's going to be like, like eating air. Like those those things are basically nothing anyway. But it's the ketchup spice that I think he's having a hard time with. Again, he might not like it, but again, I don't. I'm, I, I can't see that hurting him at all. Like I know, uh, chocolate obviously bad. I have a, I have a, a magnet actually on my fridge that I can see from here, but it's way too far away for me to actually read. And it's a list of like certain foods that are really bad for, I think, dogs and maybe cats on that list. Okay, he took it, so we'll see what happens. We may get dirty the rug. I know. I was gonna say we may have uh, ketchup. Uh, crumblings all over the rubs. I know that dog, at least uh, the dog food that I've gotten for Oreo is not dangerous to cats because Gandalf likes to steal Oreo's food now and then. Who's pop culture vegan and why is he saying hello, Agnes? We don't know who pop culture vegan is. He's a, a fellow who's chatting. Seems like a nice Hi. fella. Hi, pop culture uh, vegan. But, Thank you. But we don't, uh, I'm actually not sure if he's ever made an appearance before or not. It looks kind of AI-ish. It looks like when I log onto a website, and they're like, hello, can I help you? So that's what it looks like. Hello, Agnes. Well, we were saying he might be actually Sexton's brother. Oh, okay. We call him Brother Sexton. Brother Sexton. Yeah. You got your own chip. Eat over there. No. You haven't even finished one. Go, no. 
He was actually kind of well said, Chris. I mean, Greg. Mm -hmm. He ate Blair. it. Yes, he did. Nope. He spit it out. It's actually yeah. funny. Like I, I have two cats. Moo Cow, my kind of older cat. Moo Cow, who was actually a stray, who lived out on the streets for, I don't know, two, the first two or three years of her life. She refuses to eat anything that's like not cat food like every now and then she might like a piece like she actually she likes tuna like if i put a can of tuna she'll eat that because i think every single cat in the world will eat that but aside from that like a piece of cheese no yeah. a piece no. of bacon no a piece of like other no gandalf same way yeah. she will not eat anything she won't even eat wet cat food gandalf she gandalf my new cat he doesn't refuse anything he eats wow. everything have you given him uh, uh, ice cream? Because apparently they get brain freeze. I've seen the videos and I wouldn't do that. That's just not nice. Wow. Well, our cat Chloe will only. I've ex I've experienced brain freeze. I don't want to make my cat feel that. It's just not nice. Agnes, you're so heartless. My God. It's kind of funny when cats do it though, because cats are assholes. Like I, I, f I fuck around with my cat in like other ways. Oh, you know? well, we gotta watch this anyway. Yeah. God, you're you're so. But you know he's just he's just looking to keep the cat around. Mm. Hi, Gizmo. No, I'm sorry I left the room to take a pee, Gizmo. I heard you crying. I'm sorry I left you with Alicia. Yeah, Alicia is mean. So we have another uh, Molson Dry here. Oh, no lemon in this one. No, no lemon in this one. I did just eat a whole handful of chocolate chips, though. So That's great. Fantastic. Great. So that Let first sip was amazing. <laughs> So do um, does Steam Whistle sell all their beers in cans, or is it all like on tap? Uh, no, it's all in cans. In fact, I don't believe, other than OG Steam Whistle, I don't believe you can get any of it in bottles anymore. So uh, who in Ontario can get me a can of all these new Steam Whistle beers? I, Greg lives pretty close to the brewery. Greg lives really close to the brewery, I think, doesn't he? Yeah, it's true. I live near Von Bugle. I have Von Bugle. That's their other beer, and it's all brewed in a Yeah, I know. I know. I know Von Bugle. Von Bugle is when uh, when their brewmaster retired, they gave him a brewery. I will say though, steam whistle has gone downhill. Even the regular steam whistle is just not as good as it used to be. I, that was I remember. I know. I always hated Steam Whistle, but I always had Steam Whistle at bars and stuff, and bars and stuff in like the Niagara region. And then when we went to do our beer umentary with them, we had Steam Whistle right off the line, and they sent us with a, a case of Steam Whistle that was right off the line. And it wasn't that it, it was just so fresh, and I'm like, oh my god, this has a different flavor than what I'm used to. This is great. And it was also canned when we when we took it from the line, so it wasn't in the green bottles. And it was just so much better than the green bottles ever were. Yeah, Steam Whistle is one of those beers that's always been really good if you got it fresh. And now it's just not, like, it's, it's kind of average now. It's not so great. It's certainly not worth the high price it demands. My wife enjoys it, but. Put it over there. I don't typically buy it for myself. Well, I'm with you, so there's like hardly any left. Yep. Agnes, I'm sad. I'm sad you fixed that painting. It looked really good on a skew. Uh huh. Listen, I just repainted the entire living room, and we finally moved this painting in the middle where it should have been for the last six years. So you mean that's not where it's been. Every time I've seen Greg on chat. No, I just moved this been moved. Ago. What was it moved? Like five inches? Basically. Yep. 
but it wasn't in the middle and it's been bugging me for five years. Yeah, and rather than move it, she just held a grudge. Well, because the reason why we couldn't move it is because there we've, we've tried to hang so many things on this wall before that there were holes in the wall. So if we had moved it five inches, it would have released the walls and we didn't have any touch up paint. Oh God. What's so far, Arnold? I love, I, I love that we see Arnold and Agnes's arm. <laughs> yep. And Arnold's eating a bunch of ketchup chips. I hope I hope it doesn't kill him. That was, that was tough. Pop culture vegan's name is JC. I, I can't recall you being on any chat that I've been part of, but maybe you're part of some of Chad's chats. And I haven't been I haven't been doing these in, in forever. I mean, since we moved up here in November, I've done a live chat and still until the last like few weeks. Oh my God. I'm not gonna mess with myself too, so well you're going to the wash tonight too. I'm going to the wash? Yeah. <laughs> Bathe him, Agnes. Alicia. Bathe him real good. Yep. Use use Arnold to scrub down, Greg. Use Arnold as a, a big, ridiculous, doofusy loofah. So you know, I never wanted one husky, and now I have a husky and a half husky. I I don't know why I have this. No. I never wanted a husband, and then I got grabbed. Yeah, I was going to say, Chad never wanted a wife, and now you've got a wife and an ex-wife. So there you go. You're moving on in life, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, babe, careful. Babe, no, take it off me. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's what she says, That was really funny. Everybody just saw Agnes again. Uh, for the first ah, time. one camera, no. No. Uh, someone, we're we're live. Somebody, that painting somebody, doesn't someone, look like it. Someone needs to clip that. That painting. That painting doesn't look like it's straight. No, it's not. It's not. No, it it's is. it's still askew. It is, and it's bugging me. But we'll fix it tomorrow. Leave it. Leave it. No. There you go. That's right. That did work. Actually, actually that's, that's that's perfect. That, that's better. Yes. <laughs> Well, I was gonna say every time I see Alicia walk behind you, she's wearing a hoodie and covering her head. I think I think the ladies are just kind of camera shy. Yeah. No, Alicia wears that hoodie like everywhere she goes lately. Is it cold? That's the furniture hoodie. Uh, we don't have the heat up all that high. I mean, we're it's oil, right? It's an oil furnace. We don't want to use up as much oil as we have been. <laughs> We're trying to be environmentally friendly here. There you go. Unlike Greg, who just like doesn't even wear pants in the house. How does that affect the environment? We have to keep our place warm because No, I don't. I had the air conditioning on to because I didn't want my balls getting sweaty. And Arnold doesn't want so, him sweaty. I have I have a desk fan here, right? Like a usual desk fan that would be like ten dollars at Walmart in the south. They cost me sixty bucks. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ! And then I bought one of those industrial fans. You know, the like three bladed big ones that like sit with the triangle base and all that. Yeah, yeah. that thing cost me like eighty nine dollars. Jesus. Cost of living up there is quite sky high. Well, it, it's true. Like it, it's it's still light out. It's still light out right now, and um, yeah, the sky is beautiful. Everything's beautiful up here. And I mean, we're we're going to take a drive down to the we're going to take a drive down to the water pump station in the next day or two and take some oh. video and pictures out there because now that the now that the bay's opening up, it's probably amazing looking. So Arnold still has balls. But my wife wants to cut his balls off. I don't want to. What do you guys think? Should we cut Arnold's balls off? Sorry, buddy. Your balls gotta go. How old is Arnold? 
11 months. Yeah, you should probably cut his balls off unless you're going to breed them. Yep. I mean, you, 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 you can get him the fake ones they put in there. He'll never know. Yeah. Take a you, you, you can give him. You can give a bigger one so it'll be like the fucking cock of the walk kind of thing. You know, like he'll, he'll be like, yeah, I went to the vet. They put me to sleep and I woke up and look at my balls now. Yeah. See, here, here's, the, here's the thing, though, is I find it funny when he humps my wife. And if one day he humps her and then releases his sperm on her, I will find that also funny. <laughs> That, that that that's Greg makes a very very valid argument. I just no, have to say, no, he does not. No, I well, don't. We, agree. You should not agree with me ever. We have a, the five month old husky king shepherd, and we have the uh, eight week old shepherd, and they're both males because we didn't want to ever have to deal with puppies here. So that's that's the only reason we wanted males. We're like, yeah, if we get a male, then we don't have to worry about puppies. Somebody else has to worry about puppies because there's no vets up here. Uh, the vets come. The vets would normally come once a year to give shots, but they aren't coming because of COVID nineteen. Your shots are free up here, but you have to wait for them to come. Wow! Well, it's like you, you got to wait for me to come. I just wait thirty seconds. Well, I'm trying to. I'm trying to get heartworm medication. I've been trying Three to get hours. Hey. Hey. Arnold, and please. when I. When I lived in Ontario, I was able to order a heart guard from 1-800-PET-MEDS, but I tried to order it up here, and it's like, no, you can't order that. That's a controlled substance in Quebec. And I, I called up, well, we had Alicia's parents call up their vet in Ontario, and their vet's like, no, we have to do the heartworm test first. And I'm like, really? Why would you even have to do the heartworm test first? Well, because if they if they test negative, then we can give them heart guard. And I go in, and I was telling Alicia, well, that's cool, because if they test positive, they give them heart guard. So it's it's retarded because one way, whether they ha are positive or negative, heart guard is a treatment. It's just whether or not heart guard is a six month thing or a year thing. Wow. Things we take for granted. Monster. Not. S <sighs> Show everyone your balls. Oh, Jesus. Take a picture. There we go. There's Arnold's mighty balls. And Brian says two balls need to be stopped. Pick the pair to save. Oh, jeez. That's right. It's either your ball or his ball. Uh, I'm not using mine for anything. You heard it here, folks. We're chopping Greg's balls off. Well, even if you're fixed. But Chad, are you fixed? I can't remember. No, I'm not fixed. Oh, okay. This was Marson that's but yeah. I, 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 I only have one ball that works, so. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Well, the, the, other, the, other ball got the other ball got crushed in an unfortunate accident with a furniture dolly. Oh, ouch. I once knew a guy that got one of his balls caught in a weight machine. Um, I one. almost want to know that story more than mine. I don't actually know the whole story. I just know he... Got his ball caught in one of the weight machines, and he, his, his ball like wasn't crushed. It still worked, but it was very painful. Oh, I'm going pee. That's horrible. JC does not like the fact that you just showed your dog's balls. Yep. Ah, Arnold's balls must be seen. Ah. All right, I got to choke you out, buddy. Nick, we got to go to bed, so we're going to choke you. Um, that's, uh, not how you put a dog to sleep. <laughs> Is that not how you put a dog to sleep? No. It seems to work. Really? Yeah, it works for the cop. What you doing? Okay, two What you doing, Gizmo? Ow! Gizmo. Come here, baby. What are you? Gizmo. How do you need to go for a walk? Yeah, because somebody hasn't walked him. Yeah, you. I've walked in by myself twice the last two nights. That's because you're a responsible human being, unlike me. Don't bite my I foot. See, All right. All right. There we go. Let, let's give him a suplex. And JC, my... my... <laughs> yeah, everyone got to see... JC, for... for... 
for Chewbacca, we, we were sad for a few reasons. One, because it was a wasted life. Two, it was wasted potential. Three, because he was a beautiful dog. Four, because he was a brown husky, which is very rare up here. Um, so, I mean, it was it was a whole bunch of things that were sad when, when Chewie died. And five, because somebody poisoned him. So, I mean... And like I said, we never... We never intended to do this as quickly as we did, but but Nanook, Nanook needed somebody. Nanook needed something. He was he was not doing well. Well, you, you know what? I mean, the bottom line, it's a wasted life, regardless of what kind of dog it was. And whoever it is, I, I, I hope if, Chad, if you haven't secretly just murdered him or gotten someone to murder him, I hope he gets murdered very shortly. Um, well, like yeah. I said, Charlie's Charlie's still out and about trying to find out who did it. Charlie's angry. Well, good. I, I hope Charlie. I hope Charlie murders him in ways that are incredibly painful. And I mean, Charlie. Charlie told us to take a puppy for free, and I'm like, no, we were going to buy a puppy from somebody. Charlie, here's the money you charged us for Chewbacca. Just take it. <laughs> well, Arnold's being locked back up. He's annoyed my wife. You haven't been locked up yet. You've annoyed your wife. Yeah, I know, but I, the thing is, I can always find my way out of my room if she locks me up. And the thing is, she'll lock me up, and then I'll come out with a boner. So she, yeah, I, I'm better not left to my own devices. I didn't know you came to join us. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. Yes, you are. Hey, you're the second biggest. You're the third biggest dog in town. Third biggest dog, okay? You realize Third? you've got the camera focused completely on Greg right now. Why don't you want the camera on me? Ah, oh, just uh, Chad's apparently making love to the dog in the background. Cheers to the albino rhino sex fest, which never happened now with no beer. Yeah. There's, well, you know, there's Chad, and it's there's not like you can see Chad. much of me. Or maybe this is Chad, this is Mrs. Rhino. We don't know. <laughs> Or maybe this is Chad and this is Redbeard. We don't know. Yeah. They know it's Pride Month, so we don't care. Fuck whatever you want to fuck. I want to fuck my wife, but she won't let me. Oh, you poor guy. Oh, no, Chad. Well, you do. Such a fucking ever. rough life you lead. All right. this. Not that this isn't the most fun live chat in the history of the world and just the most exciting thing ever, but I'm going to go play video games with people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm probably actually going to take off, too. Oh, we gotta it's, it's, it's been fun. And yeah, it's just, Arnold's you know, being an asshole. we got to walk the fucker. So. There you go. Already. Good Cheers, go. man. Well, enjoy, enjoy, the, enjoy the rest of your fucking liquid gold, super expensive beer you got there, buddy. And I, and I hope your wife will, I don't know, let you bang her when you, she falls asleep or something. I don't know. No, that's not fun. Eh, corpses can be fun. Just ask Paul. And peace out. <laughs> hey, at least we did, at least I didn't get you in trouble with uh, with uh, your court proceedings tonight. Uh, I think that's a first, a first in um, since I got divorced. Well, there we go. I'm uh, I'm I'm trying to behave myself. Goodbye, everybody. Cheers, Chad. Cheerio, good sir. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go in just a second. Do any of you have uh, any last-minute questions, comments, concerns? I'll give you about 35 seconds because I know there is a delay. Yes. And it was great to have Greg and Carrie here. Can you describe the color of your butt hair to us? White everywhere but around the butthole, and that's like yellowish-brown. There we go. Now we know. Good night, everybody. Good night, sir. So yeah, we, we have about 30 more seconds and then I'm going to uh, give her, unless there's a question, comment, or concern. Um, I have one sip of beer left. My wife told me I was allowed one more beer, then I have to snuggle her. And I like that. I'm still, still a little sad that great, uh, Brian doesn't want to come and work with us. A little sad, Brian. A little sad. A little sad. A little sad. A little sad. Yes. Can I help you? 
Can I help you, Huffy Puffy? You don't like when I do that? Okay. I won't do it. I'm sorry. Sorry I bothered you. Yeah, damn husky mongrel. I don't want to work for you. I want to work with you. Find a way for me to work with you. What is in your ear? Don't try and bite me. I'm looking in your ear, you fucker. You're a good dog. You are. You're just like your brother in that way. Your brother was a good dog, too. So pissed off somebody took your brother from us. But now you live with us and not under a shed, so I guess that's good. Okay? You don't live under a shed anymore. Isn't that good? Oh, you like not living under a shed? Who wants to live under a shed? Okay, so no questions, comments, concerns. Okay, guys, I got to go then. Thank you for everything. Thank you for being here tonight. It was a lovely time talking to you. Au revoir. I'll be in tow. See you soon. Bye-bye.